Rigi Pest Pros real quick. Hey, did you hear that if you play Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast for exactly three hours, if you press pause at exactly three hour mark, you fall asleep, and supposedly all your dreams come true, all your fantasies. Really? Yeah. I personally think we should try it. Are you down to try it? No. You guys know anybody we should call to try it? I know, wait, I got it. Greg from Arcane Impossible. We should give that guy a buzz. I bet he'd try it. He's down for anything. Yeah. Let me text that guy. Hey Greg, if you play a Dreamcast game for three hours and press start, your dreams will come true. Nothing, fool! It's Chaos, the god of destruction! Waking up extra early every weekend to go game hunting isn't always easy, but if you have good company, some loud music, and know you're going to some fast food, you can wake yourself up real easy. Taco's are hard good in the morning. For real. I'm better than burrito. This is like Mexico's breakfast. Mm hmm That's for breakfast. I think Ricky is like slowly turning to Mexican. I'm impressed by Ricky. Someone commented like in a full-on Spanish comment. Ricky uh, responded with some good uh, Latino flavor. Mm. Uh, so I'm proud of him. I hate you guys. <laughs> I'm eating a taco. I'm not done with my food. These guys stand up and start walking away because they want to hurry. I want to enjoy my breakfast. I paid 59 cents for this. I'm enjoying it. This freeway? Yeah. Dude, and that was bizarre. Front. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, oh god! <laughs> tacos in the morning! You might mean not to give you tacos in the morning anymore. <laughs> I need to eat a break in my Mexican. Okay. What's up guys? I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And, and this, this is, is the, the NES Pursuit. Pursuit. Let's go. I'm not taking it, I just want to see it. Yeah. Uh, it's not too scratched up. Super Monkey Ball Adventure. I haven't played the, this one, but Super Monkey Ball games are really fun games. How much are the games? Two dollars? Not bad. When you're out game hunting and you see a video game for under $5, it's usually a good idea to pick it up. Even if you haven't played the game before and you can get the game for around $2 to $3, I can guarantee you, you're not going to be that upset. Even if you don't like the game. Game Boy Pocket. Green. A beautiful green. The light turned on. There's no game in it, so but the light turned on, so should work. This is pretty cool. Ricky's looking for ass. Do you know how much these are? Right 
remember, we're poor. Ricky just bought this. It's actually like a newer, uh, it's for the SNES Mini. It's the power glove for that one. So it's pretty cool. Um, How much for that game? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Scratch your back. How far can you reach? Look at that. Oh. They should just call this thing the Scratcher. The Scratcher. Now available for women. The Scratcher. It's like it's pretty cool. It's kind of creepy though. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Grab games with it. <laughs> Come here, kids. <laughs> <laughs> this is Banjo-Kazooie, a game released by Rare on the Nintendo 64. One of the better games that Rare made back in the heyday of Rare. There's something I've been looking for for quite some time out here in the wild for the Nintendo. Every time I find it, it's like 15 to 20 dollars. Ricky spots it before me, but does he get it? And if he does, does he get a good price? How much for the, uh, these controllers? Oh, the whole thing? How much for the whole thing? 30? How much for that, Ricky? Five. Okay. How much for the, uh, game? Oh, they're getting the same? Oh, yeah. I'll buy it. How much? Give me four. There you go. Will you be three on that? Aww. Thank you. That's alright. That's good. Alright, thank you. Ricky, Ricky, I'm so jealous right now. Show me what you got, Ricky. Yes, the NES Advantage controller. That thing's sick. And for five bucks, that's a really good deal. I'm really jealous, honestly. It's a very cheap price. Yeah. I'm mad. Dang it! Here uh, back. Here you go. Thank you, sir. This is a childhood favorite of mine. Marble Madness by Milton Bradley. It's an isometric game. It's a fun game. Um, it's not like an action game, but it was an arcade game before. So it's a really good game. I'm happy. Labels like mint. So everything's super clean. And for three bucks, two bucks, I talked it out. It's worth it. Finally, I'm getting something. Darn Ricky. Spider Man pinball. This one was released in uh, 1902. George Washington actually co-created this with Abraham Lincoln. It was a good one. Is that just the Aaron's history lesson that I haven't seen in a while? <laughs> Here at this reseller booth, the guy had a lot of good games, and all at pretty good prices. But then, I looked closer, and something looked off. Actually, it kind of looks like this was like reprinted. It doesn't seem like full quality. It kind of scares me. You never know. The thing about us is like, obviously, we're like retro collectors, but we're a little we're a little too retro in a lot of things. Like a lot of the PlayStation and PlayStation 2 stuff, we don't know that much about pricing. I mean, we know like memories and the fun of playing all those games because we had those systems and played them a lot, but I don't know a lot of the prices off the top of my head. So when I pull out my phone and start looking, they get suspicious and stuff. So hopefully we didn't catch ourselves slipping later when we look at some of those games. Besides us not knowing too much about the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 prices, we keep walking around. But at the next cellar, something looks off. Again? Uh, Serious Sam. Which is fun. It's very, but it look, I feel like it's like reprinted, the graphics. Everything. It's like super uh, blotchy. Did you see this crash? So it makes me think it was like printed out again. So I just found this. It's the receiver for the Super Scope. Ricky is actually missing one of these. Should I buy it and sell it to Ricky for double the price that I buy it for? So I can have money? Let's find out. How much is this? Minutes later. Huh? Four? Ricky, do you want it for four? Yeah, I'll get it. It's four bucks. I'll let Ricky take it. I'm nice. So normally it's weird, like one one you get like a like, a, like something in a complete package, and you're missing one piece, and you think to yourself you'll never find it. So it's just weird that like we found the super scope receiver. You know, it's when you're missing one piece, you're like I'm probably never gonna find just the piece, but that is just to show you guys it can happen. Keep digging, keep looking, you will find it. Me and the captain make it happen. 
Will we find a rare game? Yes, definitely. Wow. <gasps> There's little Samson. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. <laughs> Mario Bros. Good version, but the label's really messed up. Plus, there was a really nice guy on YouTube that I've mentioned before, Sean, who said he might send it to me. So. If I can't get this for like two bucks, then I won't take it. How much are the games? Four dollars, which is a pretty good deal for this because it's the good one, but with the label damage and the fact that Sean said he might send me one for free, so. I'll ask Ricky, maybe he'll want it. He likes to collect these. See, my gyrus that I had has five pence. This one has three. Because I'm the man. Which one? Nemesis. Oh, nice. We'll shoot him up. Capcom, Little Mermaid. Great game, great Capcom game. 8 Bit Eric is in love with this game. What's up? This is 8 Bit Eric. Would you take three on this? This one, a little more, maybe I'll see that. Yeah? Okay, cool. Thank you. You and Jerry? This is probably one of Aaron's favorite games. Yep. The only reason I tried it was because Aaron told me about it. Yeah, if you haven't played Blaster Master, you need to. It's pretty cool. It was in our top 10 as one of our uh, favorite NES games. It's brilliant, underrated, not enough people give it love. So, uh oh, a faceless game. Oh no, I can tell what it is. It's Spider Man. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have said, get this. We haven't done one in a long time. How much for this one? That one? That one's six. Six? I'm really debating about that Sega Saturn, though. What we didn't show you guys in the video was about 20 minutes of Ricky haggling with the seller to buy a Sega Saturn. He actually had some pretty good prices, but he was just a funny guy, and we had a really good time talking to him about the Sega Saturn. He tried everything in the book to sell this to Ricky. <laughs> hey, thank you, Thanks, man. man. I appreciate it, dude. <laughs> that guy was funny. He was like full on like Jedi mind tricking Ricky into almost buying it. He's like, you want it? Imagine it in your room. <laughs> he was cool. I guess fine. That's not a bad deal. He went down to 30 bucks for the Saturn with two controllers. But, I don't know. It's untested, A, and it's not like a stellar deal, deal, but it's a pretty good deal. But Ricky said no. We had a ton of fun today at this swap meet, but we just realized that we have about an hour left of our day, and any game hunting time you can get, you should take it. So now, we're on our way to another swap meet. What'd you get? Anything, Ricky? I <laughs> Thank you. This is why I talk a lot. <laughs> well, I didn't even know the camera was on, to tell you the truth. I'm sorry. It's the just the extender so I can play from my couch instead of leaning forward all the time. Honestly, they made them kind of short. Well, for my setup, if you see the game room. And the see-through purple. Uh, I don't know what the technical color is for this. People always know like the technical name for the colors and stuff, but I don't. So I call it Barney Purple. For both. Four for both. So Good job. That's nice. We've already ran into two reprinted labels today that did a pretty good job, but this guy, come on, he's not even trying. Ninja Gaiden with an obvious, obvious reprinted sticker on it. Um, Barbie. Which is under Card Warriors 2 is good. And Life Force. Life Force. She's kind of overpriced on the cheaper ones. So, um, I don't know. Do some digging. Girl of War by SNK, but the labels kind of banged up a little bit. But this is fun. Chris? There's cards in here, Chris. Man. Uh oh. oh look, look, these are shiny, Chris. I'm serious. Do you want to look at them? <laughs> Having the opportunity to go to two different swap meets in one day is awesome. You brought in your chances of finding more games. Today was a really good retro game hunting day. 
Um, we saw a lot of plug and play games, which I don't know like anything about. I always hate finding things. You find a lot of it and you don't know if they're worth anything because if you don't buy it, it's worth something or if it's really fun. Yeah. So, I think we're going to call our buddy Tyler, uh, Luigi Freakout123, and his dad Terry in a minute. When you're an avid game hunter like we are, it's not always easy to know everything about every type of game, or genre, or system. But something you could do is if you know somebody that knows a whole lot about something you keep seeing, call them, text them, try to get a hold of them. A lot of times to get good advice from people that know what they're talking about can be really helpful. Oh, I hope he's there. What's up, Eric? What's up, Tyler? What are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, man. Hey, I have a question for you. We, uh, we've been seeing a lot of plug-in plays today, actually, like, the past few times we've been going, and we have no idea, like, what we should be looking for or whatnot, because we see so many and we keep passing them up, but we wanted to know if there's, like, any rare ones or ones we should look out for that are also fun or something. Do you have any, do you have, do you have any tips? Well, um, you should always check the, uh, battery cover just to see if it's corroded, because otherwise it just won't work, but, no, but definitely take it prepared with you wherever you go. That way you can unscrew them because they don't just slide off the battery covers. And check, check out to make sure that they, they're not. We ended up talking to Tyler and Terry for quite a while on the phone about these. They actually knew a lot more than we thought they would. We're super happy that we contacted them. Now we feel much more confident going out there in the wild and seeing these and making offers on them. Like I said, you're not always going to know everything about every type of game and genre, but when you can get information, get it. What's up guys, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And um, we went to the swap meet like a week ago, so I'm not too fresh on what's going on. The whole deleted video was like the video before this, so there was a lot of... I honestly couldn't even remember what I got. Yeah, a lot of problems <laughs> and concerns in the last episode, but we're good now. Um, before we do anything, I wanted to say thank you to Greg from Arcade Impossible. Hello? No man, I don't want to collab with you, okay? We showed him in the beginning. Arcade Impossible is a really cool channel, you guys, and I'm not just saying yeah. that because he was in our video, but we've been watching them for a long time. They basically do what we do, but with arcades. It's, and it's, it's really, awesome. really, really well done. So I highly recommend you guys check them out. Actually, I don't recommend it. I tell you guys, go do it right now. Press pause. I'll put a link. Come back after you subscribe. Please take this moment to pause the video and subscribe to Arcade Impossible. Also, um, we did a different intro video. If anybody knows how to do animations or anything, Please get a hold of us. We're trying to do a new intro video. The yeah. theme music is by a buddy named Richard Craig. Um, he has a YouTube channel as well. He does a lot of cool music, um, like Nintendo sounding stuff too. So I like it. It sounds cool. Check it out. I will put it in the descri uh, description below. I guess now we can start with our swap meet stuff. All right. So I'll start off with the uh, NES Advantage controller, which pissed me off. Like one of I'm so jealous right now. I've been wanting one of those. <laughs> For a long time, and every time I see one, they're like, what, 15 bucks? Five. Freaking Ricky got it for five. Ooh. Freaking Ricky. Dude, it's not working! I'm gonna steal a churro from him later for that. And then, I actually got two instruction booklets. I think it was Perfect Dark and Star Wars Episode One Racer. Where's the Perfect Dark one? I think I already put it with Perfect Dark. I got too excited. Ricky. <laughs> Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. I didn't really try this, but... Spyro... If it's Spyro Spirals normally are good, and we haven't yeah. tried all of them, but the ones we have tried are good. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I got Metal Gear Solid 3. I actually haven't tried this one, that's why I bought it. I have tried that, but a long time ago, so I don't remember anything about it. But from what I remember, I haven't had a bad solid, solid snake game. I'm sorry. We have a load of people behind <laughs> us, you guys. We got Chris back here, Bree, which he's not in front of the camera, so sorry, guys. And my brother, Adam. And he's not rubbing his nipples this time. Just his butt crack. <laughs> you, see, you stay classy, San Diego. I went to the swap meet Saturday and Aaron didn't, so... Boo-hoo for Aaron. Freaking Ricky. I got Mario's Missing. I already made a case for it. Hey! Mario's Missing! Oh, no, he's not. Batman Return the Joker is freaking fun. Yeah, all Batman NES 8-bit games, I think, were fantastic and uh, <laughs> really good. I was kind of cheating with that NES Advantage controller playing this, but honestly, so much fun. <laughs> Alright, for me, a couple things. Um, Dreamcast controller, the blue one. Um, Dreamcast is a great system, underrated system, and, you know, I highly like the controllers. I didn't think I liked it back yeah. in the day, but now I look back at them and they were uh, pretty innovative. So, good for them. Killer Instinct, which is freaking awesome. I don't know if I would consider this better than Street Fighter 2 Alpha or not. I, don't, I think those are kind of the top two. Yeah. I think my brother would agree back there. He's nodding his head. But Street Fighter Alpha 2 or this, probably the best 
fighter on a Super Nintendo. Street Fighter Alpha, Killer Instinct, which one is better? You decide! Little Mermaid by Capcom, really good game. Good game. Like we, uh, the Disney games, the Capcom games on the 8-bit NES days were all fantastic. Amongst, you know, Chippendale, DuckTales, Duck Darkwing Duck, all that. So, fantastic game. This is such a good game, I wish they had it on other consoles. Marble Madness, an isometric game um, from a third-person view. Pretty cool game. It's kind of like you get to the end of a maze. I liked it back in the day, but it's not it's exciting, <laughs> but it's cool. It's, it's a different type of game. Play it if you haven't. Yeah. I do recommend you try it, at least. Super Monkey Ball. Kind of like Marble Madness? Super Monkey Ball no, Adventure. I've never, adventure. I've never played the adventure type. Uh, like I said, I've played the regular Super Monkey Ball, which is a great game. But I was looking up gameplay footage of this um, on the GameCube, by the way it is. And it, was, uh, it looked pretty fun. Not too much my type of game, but it looked fun. And the last thing, guys, that I did get was actually a gift from a friend of mine at work named Nelson. And I swear to you, he only gave me this because he wanted me to mention his name. So, Nelson, <laughs> here's your mention. Nelstradamus, who comments on the videos. No, he's a nice guy. I thank him for it. Um, he gave me this bag, a PlayStation bag. You know how back in the day, taking your Look PlayStation house to house was awesome. <laughs> um, that, and he got me a couple Mortal Kombat books. So these are pretty cool. I like the uh, retro look on them, how this one's like all bloody and stuff. So am I. You were just seeing bad stuff about Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, I just <laughs> bagged on Mortal Kombat. Like, Mortal Kombat's good, alright? It is fun, though. That's all we have? I don't want to forget anything. Um, I mentioned Greg from Arcade Impossible again. Check him out. Richard Craig, check him out. Like, comment, subscribe. Please like. You guys did. You guys killed it in the last video. It's yeah. like at like 400 likes right now and one dislike. So <laughs> you guys are freaking awesome. Keep commenting. Ricky's on it. Chris is on it a little bit. I'm on it too. So um, we try as much as we can. Subscribe also. As we always say, you guys are doing good on that too. So we don't need to lecture you guys about it. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We have some really funny conversations that are. We just went to a Mexican <laughs> restaurant and some guy said that we should be called the MEX Pursuit, like the Mex Pursuit. So that was freaking funny. We were crying. That was pretty dinner, awesome. So best comment I've had in a while. Hang out with us in there, you guys, and uh, keep in touch. And until then, goodbye. recording right now still oh, so yeah. everybody just stands still and smile <laughs> and go like this like this face oh you're already doing it this <laughs> adam always has that face on yeah, i do <laughs> oh darn it it was recording all time uh, 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 okay here what sound does the dolphin make man ricky you know what sometimes it's really cool just to look back and think We've acquired all these games and games like Contra Force that most people don't have. It's really interesting and just so much, so cool to have these in our collection. Yeah, that's true. But do you ever get tempted like to sell them? Never, dude. I, I've actually never been tempted in my life to a sell a game. I, I would never do. And if I was to sell a game like Contra Force, I would only do it to a friend if he needed the game, and I'd probably give it to him for like a dollar. Most of the times, I give my games away for free. I just offer it up to people just to be. A part of the community and help people out that need them. So, what should we do tonight? Post on YouTube. Oh, Scott, JHMDF, post a new video. Nice. What's up, everybody? I got a game in the mail today that I purchased from a fellow YouTuber. The channel name is Retro Liberty. It's run by uh, Aaron and Ricky, and I actually bought it from Aaron. He said it was like in perfect condition and it worked just fine and everything. And it's a pretty expensive game. And he was basically asking like the eBay price, but I went ahead and bought it because he said it was like great and, and everything was fine with it. And it's a copy of Zombie Nation on the NES. And the label at first, you know, looked pretty good. And I was checking it out. And I was like, oh, awesome. And then I flipped the damn thing over and it is just completely destroyed on the back. It's got like rental stickers, it has his name written on it. It like a four year old wrote it. And then the worst part is I noticed at the very top of the label, it was sort of like wrinkly. And I went ahead and just kind of peeled it a little bit, and the whole damn thing just peeled right off. And it's a copy of WrestleMania, and he drew titties on the Hulkster. I mean, come on, Aaron. You know, I know, I know Ricky would never do this. Why did you do this, Aaron? I hate you. <laughs>
So Ricky and I have had a really long, hard, stressful weekend watching our kids while our wives are all out celebrating my wife's birthday. Luckily enough, we were able to get some babysitters for the weekend and head out to the swap meet. It's Cinco de Mayo this weekend, so it's time to party. Hola, me llamo Erron. Yo soy Ricky. And this is the MEX Pursuit. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I'm Aaron. Yo soy Ricky. Dang! <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> and uh, we're in Riverside um, at one of the swami, it's not gonna say. But um, yeah, that's it. It's Cinco de Mayo, so we're gonna have some fun today and hopefully find some games for those dollars. So, adios, amigos. Alright, see you guys. How much is that? Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna ask her. How much for the Resident Evil? Cool. 12? Let's see, hold on. Resident Evil 2. Great game, uh, Capcom. One of the best Resident Evil games besides Resident Evil 4. This is also a good Resident Evil right here for the Wii. If you're a Wii player, that's a good one to get. I highly, highly recommend it. Oh, yeah, so wireless controller for the Nintendo. For Nintendo, yeah. yeah. This is cool, Chris. Look, the Nintendo double player. Obviously, yeah. the box is super beat up. And I haven't seen one in like forever. And this one is official. Oh, nice, cool. Yeah, the receiver is right here. There's the control. How much? How much is it? It's 25. It's pretty cool though, just because it's different. I've never seen one like Chris is gonna yeah, person like this. Someone's about to run you over right now. Okay, so yes, it is Cinco de Mayo, but it's also like, let me see what time it is. It's 8 o'clock, and it's what? pretty dead here. Like, barely any set up, and there's like no way here. There's no music. We were wondering if it would either be like eerily quiet or like extremely packed because it's Cinco de Mayo, but it's looking like it's gonna be eerily quiet. Yeah, it's so. But the people we have come across have been pretty cheap, so that's good. Very cheap price. Very cheap price. Oh. I never do it mid episode. We pet yeah. these guys last time. When we came out here. I like these goats. I'm not like an animal person much, but something about these little goats tug at my heartstrings. Normally, I don't even like scratching dogs that much because I feel like I'm getting like fleas on them. Look at Ricky's feeding them. Ricky, spread some love to this guy. I gave him some already. He's brown too. It's Cinco de Mayo. Give him the most love. And he's missing a hook. Oh <laughs> God. Let's give him a name. Let's name him one of our viewers. Let's. We're gonna name this one Chris Roberts. It's usually bittersweet when you pull up to a reseller that has a lot of really good stuff and a lot of rare stuff. Odds are they're going to be extremely overpriced. And in this case, these people were. On to the next place. Chris, any luck today on any Pokemon or anything? No. Nothing no, like nothing, that? No, no good finds today. Chris's beard is looking uh, looking extra hefty today. Any, any particular reason, Chris? Uh, it's just kind of growing it out. It's yeah, looking good, dude. Mainly for, uh, what's his name? Game Beard Advance Game Beard Advance. Nice. Yeah. Game Beard Advance. I think that's your name. If you're watching, you always talk about beards. You. Wow. That's like special attention right there. Wow. You guys have something going on? No, just, I think it's a, some kind of bond. Okay, a beard bond. Yeah, beard bond. Well, then I'm not a part of it because I got it. Different from gold bond. Gold bond. <laughs> Itchy feet. <laughs> 55. I want all the colors though. It's a good color. It's green. Bert, I want that one because it would make me a gringo. <laughs> We've been having a really good time here at the swap meet so far, and then we happen to go to a reseller. Ricky finds something pretty rare in a game that's usually pretty pricey. Does Ricky stand a chance in getting this rare game? Let's see. So the definition of getting caught slipping is what you hear a lot of people ask. What happened right now is I got caught slipping. I was standing right next to Ricky. 
Ricky just got Demon's Crest for freaking $8. It's like an $80 freaking game. Um, Dude, today's the best day. I must admit, today is it. He already has one of those, too. See, Billy and Jay, they offer each other games when they have to. Ricky does. He just grabs it. I'm not Billy or Jay. I'm sorry, guys. He's Rude Ricky. That's his new nickname. Hey, this is the truth. If Aaron would have seen it, he would have gotten it either way. True, of course I would. Because I want it and I need it. But... That's the way the pursuit plays out. No, it's not. <laughs> World wrestling, this is like the most epic. This is like true to form of what wrestlers and um, bodybuilders do. Like super fake tans. It shows your definition better. That's what I use when I do like my competitions. Normally I wax up just like right here, wax my armpits, uh, fake tan all the way down. Usually in my gluteus area. Ooh, my phone was vibrating as I was doing that. It felt weird. I must admit, I was still a little upset that Ricky got Demon's Crest a few minutes ago at that other booth, but as we were walking by the next booth, I noticed Ricky was looking down on his phone a lot, so I knew he wasn't paying attention. Him and Chris walked right by these games. Now it's my time to shine. Yeah, so a lot of times people just collect boxes or manuals and stuff, so that's good. I don't know, I've never played Spankies. What is it? I have no idea. I just want to see Spanky. Spanky's on Super Nintendo. It's an Atsumi game. And the Raiden? Um, looks like a platformer mainly. Kind of like Balance Adventure-ish graphics. Um, all family series, so it's uh, probably not like a gnarly game or anything. And <laughs> fun, playful characters is the word to describe it. But cool. It might be fun and playful though. It could be. How much did he say again? Eight. Eight. It was a Final Fantasy. I have the guide for that one. <laughs> the guide, the Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> oh, that's what they should call the guides on those games. Ninja Guide ends. Okay, so let me show you what I got over here. So I did. I was very upset at Ricky for getting Demon's Crest, but I just ended up getting this for six bucks. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Part of the seal's like still on, halfway sealed. No, it's not halfway sealed. But yeah, dude, freaking awesome. So six bucks for this? Anybody that knows, that's a good deal. Great deal, great game, great everything. So now I'm not too upset about the Demon's Crest thing. It's still on, but I also got this with it. Dun dun dun, Double Dragon 3, the freaking arcade game. Look at that, freaking complete. I'm happy now. I was like honestly pretty upset with the Demon's Crest thing, but I can breathe. So in the end, we actually ended up scoring pretty big at this swap meet. But we have a little extra time again, so we're on our way to another swap meet. Let's go! A cool old NES controller. <laughs> It's just a sticker on it, but I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this sticker before. I'm curious. How much is uh, this? <laughs> Five bucks? Five bucks. That's too much for any S controller. Plus, it's like super gritty. I don't know if you can see in there. There's like dirt buildup. So it's kind of gritty. You can hear it like crack. So I probably won't. Um, yeah, and by the way, uh, Rob from the Retro Hunters just tweeted me to, to punch a reseller in the face. So I did. And uh, I'm being sued. So, that's the last of the episodes. Next one will be in jail. The prison pursuit. Nah, yes! Good one, Aaron. Cha-cha! Uh, yes, flashback. Flashback is basically like out of this world. Would you take two? I'll take it. Flashback! What do you say, you have something to do or not? Yeah, he's more than famous. So, I just, these are five bucks each. Um, which is not bad, there's a couple. This one looks clean. Snake Round on Roll, I've already talked about this game before. It does have the manual in it. Um, I think 
they all do. Yeah, they do. It's a little bent, but that's okay. The, the disc is in, I mean, the disc. The game's in good condition, also. The disc is good condition. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't until our way home that we realized those NES games we bought had never been played. Ever. We took them out of the boxes and looked at them. They were 100% mint condition. It's been a good day all in all. We've got some really good games and even some rare games at a really good price. Now it's time to end the day and show our pickups. Hi guys, Aaron here and Ricky, and we're Retro Liberty, as if you don't know by now in the video. Um, happy Cinco de Mayo! I know it's like a week late for you guys. For us, it's one day after. Yeah. Yesterday was uh, official Ricky's family holiday. No, it was, dude. It was like the best swap meet time we've had. Oh, in a while. it was awesome. And we'll be upfront with you guys right away. We're not gonna show everything um, that we got that day. Just a couple things because yeah, it's too much. We're gonna save it for another video because we got probably over 45 games um, besides <laughs> what we're gonna show. So the video would be 40 minutes long. First, I want to say thank you to Scott, uh, JHMDF. Thanks, guys. For the intro video. No, I didn't really sell him anything. But um, <laughs> it was really funny. When I saw the video, I was cracking up. It's a copy of WrestleMania, and he drew titties on the Hulkster. I mean, come on, Aaron. You know, I just I thought, I thought that... You're an idiot, Scott. <laughs> so thank you to him. Subscribe to him, you guys. And if you want videos daily, welcome to Scott's channel, JHMDF. He puts out videos. Every, Every single day. day. So a day. good for him. He's a good guy too. A good friend of ours. He's become really close with us. Ricky, start us off. For the NES, I got me some Paperboy 2, the last game made for the NES. Boxed. It's cool. It's a fun game. It's awesome. I, I, I've always liked Paperboys. I know they're not like fun, yippee skippy when you play them. But... Wow, look at this guy's face. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll show a picture of this guy's face. He literally <laughs> looks like a moron. Like, <laughs> and then I got Goof Troop. Awesome. Real cheap. It's what was that? A couple bucks? Two bucks, yeah. A couple Two bucks. bucks, exactly. That's it's a co-op game. It's an awesome co-op game. It's very underrated. Very underrated. Demon's Crest for eight bucks. Yeah, stupid Ricky. That's the best <laughs> deal of the freaking weekend. Pissed me off. That was pretty cool. And as you guys, I don't know if it came across, but I was honestly pretty upset for a while. <laughs> so I was mad about it. I, uh, yeah. Well, I don't even want to talk about it. That's his second copy, and I have zero. <laughs> Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. I already had the box for it, so it's a freaking good game. The only thing that everybody knows is the annoying thing is Mario. <laughs> but otherwise, the game it's it's, it's pretty a, fun. It's a rad it's game, awesome. Cool game. graphics. It's um, uh, it's not underrated because every most people do like yeah. it. Yeah. If you haven't played it for some reason, freaking go play it. Yeah. It gets Ricky's official. <laughs> oh, and Demon's Crest too. Yeah, Demon's Crest, not to mention just Hi. the deal. Yeah, we should have talked about it. I didn't even talk about yeah, that. Yeah, it's that a Capcom game. game. Awesome. And you're um, Firebrand, I think, from uh, Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins. and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins. 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 Whatever. Yeah, and um, it's a fantastic game. Awesome game. One honestly. of the best games on the system. We actually kind of heard about it mainly through NES Complex's like, top. Watched his review on it. Top 10 Super Nintendo games. Hey! Yeah. I had to get it after I watched it, yeah. honestly. And it's as good as he says. Spanky's Quest for the Super Nintendo Complete in Box, which neither of us have ever played. And the back, like I said in the video, it looks kind of like a, it, it looks like a fun game. It's a Natsumi game, and it's kind of like a, it says all family friendly, so I don't know. But it looks like a platformer, side scroller type of game. And now for me, the first thing I got, flashback for um, the Genesis, which I haven't played, but I hear a lot of things about when I was talking about Out of This World for Super Nintendo to a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys said, hey, you should try flashback. So if it's anything like Out of This World, like a cinematic game, I'm excited to try it. So thanks. Thanks for the recommendation to you, from you guys. Double Dragon 3, the arcade game for Genesis. That was awesome. 100% complete. It was pretty... When I saw it, I was like... Oh. Yeah, we got these like for five bucks and 100% complete. These are great. These are fun games. It's like the arcade version. Arca the arcade game, obviously. But um, it's really cool. The game's a little bit different than the normal ones on like the NES and stuff. It's a little more... It has that arcade flavor. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I got Double Dragon 3 100% complete and box. Dude, let me see it. What? What is it? No! Okay, here we go. Caveman Games by Data East on the NES. 100% complete block. Complete block. It's awesome. He opened it. Aaron, has that game even been played? So these, these NES games that Ricky got too and me, we opened them and looked at the games 
They have never been touched. Ever. <laughs> They've never been put in an NES. They are white, sparkly, never been touched. Beautiful. Just looks like they've been, you know, in a box somewhere, kind of getting crunched. The here plastic there, but... is still on them. Like... Yeah. So I don't even want to take them out. Wait! It's never been played before! Don't do it! It's, these are awesome. This is a fun game too. It's like a different type of events, like throwing cave ah! women and stuff. So it has beating of women, women abuse. So it's a good game. Game good. Don't sue us. All 3% of you women that watch. No, I think it's like up to 6% now. Ricky, oh, Ricky's more. getting, it's cause of Ricky getting sexy. All right, my next yeah. one, which I already do have this game. Snake, rattle and roll, same thing, 100% complete, never played. Um, I don't need to talk about the game cause I talked about it before, but um, fun. Game, yeah. So, yippee, heard a little. Super Ghouls and Ghosts on the awesome. Super Nintendo, 100% complete. Actually, in really good condition. It still has some of the wrap on it, which doesn't make a difference. But this is an amazing game. I'm sure most of you guys know. Ridiculously hard game. Amazing game. I, yeah, I, I can't talk highly enough fun. about it. It's um <laughs> something that uh something of a legend I would call it. It's a Capcom game. Also, Capcom 16-bit days. Capcom, Capcom bit days. Some of the best ever. But that's it. Um. I don't know. I don't know what else. Happy Secret of Mayo again. I'm a week late. And um, also, hey, like the videos. You guys are doing great in that. We always remind you guys, but because it does mean a lot to us to get them, because these do take a lot of time, especially doing them weekly. Yeah. So we appreciate that. Also, comment on the videos. You guys talk to us as much as you can. You guys notice we respond to probably 95% of you guys, unless we miss a couple here and there. And um, subscribe. If you haven't, your first time watching us, we say this once in a while. Do videos every week, different type of stuff. Normally, this, this is kind of our main. Yeah, this, our, this is the thing we love to do. This is our main yeah. thing, but we do do top tens, reviews do, here. Do. We do do. <laughs> <laughs> we do top tens, reviews, uh, some cheesy spoof videos. We always do skits and things like that. So subscribe, come back, join us. We're always here. We'd love to do it. Join, okay. join us. Join us. You <laughs> shall never leave. And really, um, that's all. And normally I slap Ricky, but I won't. So I will slap my... Goodbye. There you go, Aaron. I hope that was good enough. I'm gonna dance for you now. Hey, label it Ola Retro Liberty. What do you think we are? A bunch of Mexicans? Can't anymore, dude. Can't what? I'm not kidding. Can't what? I have to pee, so this has never happened to me. Like, I have to pee so bad, it hurts. Why are you it's freaking out? Because I've never had to pee this bad in my life. It hurts. We're yeah. really stopping. Yes, I have to. I'm peeing on the side of the Aaron, We're gonna get hit, dude. Aaron. Aaron. Oh crap, slow down. Okay, I'm calling you back. Dude, you can't film. I had to unzip my zipper all the way down because I had to pee so bad. Dude, what if we get pulled over? Shoot, the pump's getting full. Are you freaking filming? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's. sick and tired of doing the same old thing on YouTube week after week. I think we should switch it up. But first off, we need to figure out what's most important to us here on YouTube. The fans? Screw the fans, dude. It's about the money. You're right. But what should we do? Let's Plays. Ooh. Nintendo Let's Plays. Those bring in a lot of money. Let's watch that money flow right in. <laughs> Let's see how our Tetris Let's Play did on YouTube. Ooh. We're gonna be rich. Ooh. Let's see.
was another normal Friday night when Ricky and I were playing some video games, until our friend Mike, the reseller you guys all know, called us and told us he has a bunch of video games to sell. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty awesome when you have a friend who's a reseller that is willing to sell it to the collectors first at a better price. Let's see what he's got. Well, I did come across some Sega Master stuff for you guys. Nice. I know. Ricky was needing a Master have, System. There's a Master System game. Cool. This game is a buck, and it's one of the worst games you'll probably ever play in your life. Yeah. So you have to buy it. How much is it? A dollar. A dollar. I'll buy this it. game is horrible. It's, it's one of those games that you want to laugh about. War speed for the warp speed for the Super Nintendo. Mike saying it's the worst, one of the worst games ever. So and he's selling it to me for a buck. So I'm gonna try it just for that reason. If it's terrible, we'll get a good slap on the cheek for him. <laughs> on film. I'll be back. Yeah. Now, Ricky, what you looking at over here? ET2 for the ColecoVision. Shut up. What are you looking at so far? All Show right. me a couple of them. Lemmings. Thanks for five bucks. Show me that, Ricky. That's actually a game that's um, a little harder to come by. It's a Sunsoft game. Kind of reminds me of Pikmin in a way, but it's not that easy to come by. Street Fighter 2 box. Just the fact that it's Street Fighter 2 I, and it's boxed, I got Heck it. Yeah, dude. But, you know, just. So, when you push so I have to get on the ground to show this. <laughs> this is the uh, iCade. Mike actually just gave this to us, so that is awesome. Thank um, you, from Mike. my understanding, that you put your iPad into this and you can play like you know any games you download from the App Store, like what, Asteroids, stuff like that. And, uh, you can play it on I, uh, iCade. So this is pretty rad. It's like arcade style. I know Metal Jesus is into a lot of this iPod uh, iOS stuff. So we just got all the arcades. Arcade Impossible. Yeah. Haha. -ha, take that. No. So <laughs> this is cool. So, and uh, we got a free water, too. So, yeah. Agua. So that night was obviously a success for us. It was really cool to get some good games at some good prices, and especially getting some things for free. We're ever grateful for that. But you guys know how we are. The next morning we head out to another swap meet. Let's see what we get today. Hey guys, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And it's a nice sunny day already, and it's uh, getting close. Is it close to summer? No? I don't know. 21st? It's late spring. I don't it's know. a nice day. It's going to be a good day. We have a different filmer today, Andy, behind the camera. So um, Say we're, hi, just, Andy. we're excited. So, Xbox games. None that I have played too much. Uh, Jaws Unleashed, I've never heard of. But if it's anything like the first Jaws, it will be amazing. I don't know. These kind of games are like filler games for me. If you can get them for like a buck, it's worth it. How much are the games? Five. Five? That's what you don't accept. I don't know. I, I, you guys are gamers out there. Do any of you guys actually buy this type of game? I'm, I'm not making fun either. I'm just being serious. Personal trainer cooking. Like if any of you are in culinary school, I'm serious. Like would you ever buy something like this? I know people buy like that brain age stuff. So I'm just wondering. Let me know. Awesome. Something to keep in mind when you find a place that has a lot of video games. Hold your breath. A lot of times they're going to know the prices. I know you can get really excited, but if you go to the swap meets often and flea markets often, you know they'll be here again. I used to think this was like a fun zapper game. It's gotcha. Um, it's like paintballing on the Nintendo. But I played it recently and it's not near as fun as I remember. I thought it was good. Yeah. That's a great one. Returns. That's so good. Pretty much one of the funnest Batman. It is so much fun. For back in the day Super Nintendo, it's good. No, that's a really good, it's a beat em up too. It has like the best like, sound effects on a Batman. Okay. Maybe even comparable to the NES Batman. Original. So something that I always find really funny is when you ask people how much something is, and their response is, give me $5. Uh, that one, give me $5. I'm like, how much is the game? 
give me three dollars. I'm just kidding. Give me four dollars. I'm always like, oh, oh, you're, give me four dollars. The way they say it's so like assertive. But and by the way, today, um, no good prices yet. Um, we've seen a little bit decent amount of games, nothing good, but everybody's kind of sucked on prices. Yeah. So pity party for us. But we're gonna keep looking. It's so early. These people had a later model Genesis, and they got the two good drink, uh, drink gas, Genesis controllers. The six buttoners. These are way better because you don't have to press start to switch between like punch and kicks on freaking fighting games. So, uh, that's a dog, but I already have a couple. And I don't need them. I don't need them anymore. I don't need them anymore. Why am I doing that? Frick. Sweet. Ricky ended up getting it for three bucks. They wanted five. Ricky said three. We walked away and then they came chasing after us. That's, that's the way right. chasing go. No! That's the way the pursuit plays out. We can't <laughs> say that's the way game chasing go. We're not allowed to say that. I didn't that. say game chase, I said chasing. Same thing! No, it's different. I guess it's a little All right, on PlayStation 2. Tony Hawk's Underground. Something you guys probably didn't know about this game is... It was developed in America in the third millennium by a group of Eagles who were actually playing basketball in a semi-pro league. The more you know. There's a game series out there that's pretty hard to collect for, but I'm going to complete the collection. I recently just decided. They're pretty hard to get and pretty rare and pretty darn expensive, but I got my first one today. Let's see how it went. Look what I got! My collection has begun. Mary-Kate and Ashley Winner's Circle. I don't have this one yet. I have got, I've got maybe like five of them so far, so it begins today. And a buck? Yes! Oh, it's okay. Oh. So our game hunting day is over, and this is who filmed for us, our friend Andy. Andy, how was your first experience with us game hunting? Pretty intense. Was it like legendary and something you'll never forget? I'd say it is. Now, some people might take this as an honor or disgrace, but Andy? <laughs> <laughs> While we were driving home, my wife called me and said, I have about an extra hour of free time. So Ricky and I decide to go to one more stop. So we've decided that we have a little extra time. So we're going to a Goodwill. To a Goodwill. And we haven't been to a Goodwill in a while. Okay. We don't have a cameraman though. Yeah. So it's going to be a little ghetto. I mean, this is like back to our... What, first five episodes we had no cameraman? Yeah. Which is still fun. So the camera's about to fall because we're going to drive, so let's see. Whoa! Got it! When you're walking through a Goodwill or a Savers or a thrift store or something of that nature, something you should always be doing is not only looking where the video games normally are. You never know what you're going to find in some weird places. These were both in between the books. Super Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat 3. Nice. They were literally like this. And look at good condition on it. And well bam. How buck, much? Buck ninety nine each. Oh so, yeah. I'm not gonna complain. So I'm excited. Sometimes at Goodwill's like you just look in like random spots. One time I found like hang time between the books. So I figured I'd look and go figure these were here for buck ninety nine each. So Goodwill, nothing else so far but a win today. Another win. Hooray for Goodwill. So that day at the swap meet, combined with the night before with all those video games from our reseller friend, we had a pretty great weekend of video game collecting. Like I always say, it's not about the mass quantities of game you get, it's about the memories, the times you share, and heck, it's about the freaking Del Taco. But now, let us take a closer look at our pickups. What's up everybody, Aaron here. And Ricky. Chris, our cameraman, has been in Greece for two weeks. Chris! So we, uh, we miss him, but we had Andy, our buddy, fill in for us. Andy was also the guy that helped hang some of this drywall up here. He was in one of the episodes a while back. Um, 
So yeah, we're thankful to him and uh, thankful to everybody. And uh, we're thankful for you guys, as yeah. always, for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, this is where we do the pickups in our videos. And this is uh, where El Ricardo normally takes the first Ricky step. Ricardo. Ricky Ricardo. Show it. Donkey Kong Jr. I love the cover, so I had to get it. And three bucks wasn't bad. Yeah, the cover art, cover art on it is my favorite thing about it. I know we don't need to explain the game. Um, if you guys haven't played yeah. a Donkey Kong or Donkey Kong Jr. game, then that's... Shocking that you're even watching this. So yeah, if you, if you look at it, he looks like Waluigi. He does. I'll, does I'll, I'll put a picture up. So yeah, he looks really cool. <laughs> and then uh, this is actually not at the Swami, but it's from this week. So X5, Mega Man X5. Sorry. Which is awesome. Awesome game. Which is basically a beefed up version of all the other Mega Man X's. You know, one, two, three, four. Who doesn't like playing a zero? Yeah, playing a zero, and the graphics are fantastic. As always, Mega Man's psh, never really screwed up in my opinion. <laughs> no. Except by not releasing some of the games recently, but. Come yeah. out, come out, please. 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 Spider-Man 2, then. <laughs> hey, do you remember when Tobey Maguire went all emo on Spider-Man 3? I got... I never played it, have you? No, I literally just got it. But so. the original was good, so... It was fun. Uh, the original Spider-Man on PS1 was a great game, so... I still think one of the coolest, like, systems when you turn on is the original PlayStation. That noise that it makes... It's, it's like, such a clean noise. I love it. Oh, it is good. Really good. This one I actually got right after the swap meet when me and Aaron kind of split ways at a yard sale for two bucks. Mario Party. Did someone say Mario Party? Pretty fun. Most people I think love the original Mario Parties are better than the ones nowadays, so... I don't know. They're all pretty good. Me and they're, Ricky actually had fun, fun, though. We actually had a lot of fun with was eight? eight on the Wii. We played that like a, maybe a month ago and we like just turned it on kind of for fun, but we ended up playing that thing for a Dude, while. till like 12 or 1? It was like 1 in the morning. We started late. at like 8, so that was fun. If that's not late for you, sorry, we're... Yeah, <laughs> I'm like 9 o'clock, I'm like, help, but I don't go to bed at 9. I edit till like 1 in the morning every night, so... <laughs> Legendary Wings, which is fantastic. Aaron knows more about this game than I do. It's a shoot 'em up, but there's also like the side scrolling shoot 'em up stages, and uh, the music's great, the graphics great. It's Capcom. Um, it's a very good game. I definitely, definitely, really recommend it. An NES game, and they're not that expensive, so you can pick nice. them up. Pick them up. All right, for me, um, first of all, the best thing ever, Mary Kate and Ashley Winter Circle. <laughs> yeah. right, I'm not gonna lie, I put it in and it was funner than I thought. It was, it's still stupid. And you guys, I was kind of joking about the collection thing for Mary Kate, but at the same time, I'm kind of serious. Oh yeah. I might start buying them just to kind of he's serious. Do guys. it because we have been goofing around with Mary Kate games for so long that I think it's time for me to complete the collection. We're gonna dedicate a whole piece of the wall to it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> well, Mary Kate and Ashley Wall. Uh, hopefully, you guys can tell me how this is gonna be. I, I post on our Instagram and a lot of you said that there's better ones out there but I think I'm gonna give it a chance um, if I find time especially but um Pokemon Ranger which as you guys know I've never played a Pokemon game actually a little bit of Pokemon Snap I've played around with those but never like this the RPG type yeah I'm excited I'm actually excited it looks really fun on the back it looks I, more fun than I if than it's, I, than if I it's like yellow blue and the red it'll it's cool he was played them more than I did so yeah. obviously anybody has if you've ever turned one on because I've never played it the next thing I got is something I was excited to get the light phaser for the Sega Master System Ricky just got one. I just got one. The from, same episode. From yeah. Mike, yeah. From Mike, our uh, buddy. Second to last thing for me is G Goodwill. Yeah. Between the books. Mortal Kombat 3, which I think is our favorite Mortal Kombat in the Super Nintendo. It probably is, yeah. It got better. It's uh, not as slow. I would say part one, but yeah, it's part one for slow. The, part one for nostalgia reasons, because it's the first one, and it was yeah. like shocking when you played that as a kid. Like The blood, you're like, oh my god! My last thing that I also got at Goodwill, Capcom game that you guys this all know, is awesome. Super Street Fighter, and the label on this is really good condition good and for the price yeah it's not buck 99 so as we said guys like i say in these videos man if you can look around in goodwill i know that that's a good tip don't just don't only go to the video game stuff so yeah the only football game I really ever played was like Blitz. Tecmo Bowl. Because I'm not much Oh, Blitz a, was fun. Yeah, though. I'm not like a sports guy, so. I mean, I know I'm like super burly and macho, so you would think I am. You know, I was a linebacker for the Detroit Maverick Wed Wings. Like the videos. As always, weekly videos if you guys are new. Yeah. We say this on our NES Pursuit videos because we put out videos every week. It's not always going to be NES Pursuit, as I like to say. I think it's going to be like every other week for those because time and money. I mean, but a video a week, no matter what. Well yeah. done. And last week's video, my top five gaming moments, did, that really, was cool. did really well, too. People seemed to love it and yeah, it did it well good. for us. So thank you guys for enjoying that and checking that out. Subscribe. It's free. I, I, someone one time asked me how much it was to subscribe. <laughs> Dude, it's free. Yeah, it's, it's just a way to keep updated with what we're doing. Do we have anything a else? A dollar. Yeah, it's, it's a dollar. Send it to our <laughs> PO box. No. Oh, you know, I do have one more thing. 
uh, June 1st. If you guys are in California or yeah. want to come down, That's cool. uh, there's a thing called SC3, and it's um, in Santa Ana. June 1st, it's only five bucks to get in. Get in. It's at a place called The Last Arcade, um, and we're going to be there, hanging out with some other people, friends, YouTubers, playing games. A lot of people are bringing games to trade and sell, so that's it. So um, we'll see you guys next week, and uh, we don't know what we're doing, but we'll be here next week. So adios, muchachos. Surprisingly, we're both married and not gay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you hit that same thing I hit that one time? <laughs> that nail? I got a cut on there. Uh, oh! Uh -huh. Dude, Ricky. Yeah. Let's see how our Tetris long. Long play. Take two. <laughs> Dude, Ricky. Yeah? Let's see how our freaking. I can't remember the darn name what we did. <laughs> Let's play. Let's play. Long play. Alright, alright. Take three. I just discovered an Easter egg in Mario Brothers. Okay, so what do we do now? We're gonna text James, the Easter egg hunter. We'll know what to do. I'm just not texting you then. Hey James, it's Aaron. I don't know if you've heard, but I've just unearthed an Easter egg in Super Mario Brothers. Play the first level and jump 300 times before the time runs out and you will be beamed to the final battle against Bowser. Call you in a couple of days to find out how you're getting on. So, an Easter egg in Super Mario Brothers. Well, that should be easy, as after all, I am the Easter egg. Hello? Hello. What's up, James? It's horrible. It doesn't work. What are you what are you talking about? I've tried for two days and I can't get it to work. I'm exhausted. Why won't it work? Oh dude, I, I was just kidding. This beautiful Saturday morning has turned into an extra special game hunting weekend. We're joined by a subscriber and now friend who has flown all the way from Texas to come down to California. We're really excited to game hunt with him. Let's just see how this pursuit plays out. What's up guys, good morning and today we're at another swap meet but we're joined by Someone who we've actually talked about before. If you guys watch our show, um, we had a subscriber back in the day early, uh, Kingsley. And uh, he just became a good friend. He's uh, from Texas. He actually knows like the game chasers and those guys. He's met him a couple times, so he gets around in the gaming hunting world. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, we're gonna go hunting with him today. So hopefully he get first tips. And I've always wanted to honor him with. So Some decent games. Double make car right, three. And they got a lot of uh, they have a lot of Final Fantasy games too, so Kingsley's gonna look at that more. He's more of a PS2 guy than we are, so 
Plants vs. Zombies Pretty for the DS. Okay. And um, it is 100% sealed. So, <laughs> it's not that cheap for him, but... Pretty cool. I, actually, this game's a lot more fun than I uh, gave it credit for when I first heard about it. So, I think Kingsley's picking up a Nintendo 64 and a couple games for like 20 bucks. He, he's a good wheeler and dealer. So, it might be good for having him around today for us. For our sake. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> what is it? I'm supposed to do that? That's supposed to do that. That's awesome. Oh, I'm coming after you. Ah! <laughs> I don't oh. look at toys much, but I feel like we should look at toys more because we run across toys a lot, as you guys know. I mean, that's kind of life. Yeah, the Hulkster. Wolverine. Like our last. He drew titties on the Hulkster. <laughs> and he drew titties on the Hulkster. <laughs> that's for Scott J H N D F. Game Boy printer. This thing's awesome. I don't have one of these. I, I know it's not gonna play Bravo or anything, but there's a whole bunch of free the other ones. This is pretty yeah. freaking awesome to have. <laughs> so if you come down here, Andy, um, let's take a look. I don't know if I see anything amazing yet, but they definitely do have games, obviously. Risk. Everything's kind of jumbled up. I know when you're looking through Atari, I don't know much, but I do know to look for Air Raid. That's all I know. But it's like also a master system it's stuck to the, no, it's too right here. So, which comes with uh, can come with a few different games on it. There's a snail game. There's also the Outrun or uh, Hang On. I mean, Safari Hunt. No. Is that how was it? Tank engine plug and play? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sweet. Did I just find myself a plug and play? This one looks awesome. Yes, but I've played the Thomas the Train game on Super Nintendo. And it's terrible. So I'm highly doubting that this would be good. This is by TVGames.com, Jack Pacific. Never heard of it. So. Probably not. I know it's easy to get discouraged going to the same resellers week after week, but sometimes it's not a bad idea to check back in. We've been to this guy quite a few times and I don't think we've ever bought anything off him. But this weekend, it seemed like he had a lot of things we never saw. Maybe we skipped over him the past few times. But today, he had quite a few things we really wanted. Hmm. How much is uh, Elisa Dragoon? Alright. Uh, so you have five of those? Five each? I hear a lot of things about this from uh, people like Pat the NES Punk and a lot of other people. It's a, it's a good title. I've actually heard quite a bit good about it, so I think I'll get it. Five bucks? Yeah, five bucks. What do you want? Alright, I got a ten. Yeah. You get a five. Uh, yeah, 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 just one. Ooh, that battle toast is clean that you got. You got that battle toast? Yeah. That thing's clean. That's yeah, start too. Yeah. Or free yeah. actually. Three. Thank you, sir. Five bucks. I can't complain. That's actually a good game. Yeah. If you guys watch our show, you know we run into Dave Hester quite often. This weekend, he had a lot more gaming stuff than we've ever seen him have. He had most of his stuff set out, but we happened to find a bin with some random Nintendo 64 games in it. Did he have something we really wanted? Lover. How much for this one, Dave? There was there was another crate that had N64 games in it. The only bummer about you can pull one up here. The only bummer about this Bomberman Hero is there's like tape on the label label, so this is pretty much unremovable. Because Nintendo 64 games are like the worst for label quality. Which one? Mystical Ninja Goman. Besides the fact that not one of us is pronouncing the name of this game correctly, this is a really awesome game. And I'm not going to lie, I've been wanting this for a while, but Ricky beat me to it. I'm not going to put up a fight. Guillaume. Mystical Ninjas are pretty awesome Gilmore. games too. A lot of yeah. people uh, are really into these. The fact uh, that Sis Konami already says... Eric from Let's Get, from RetroWare TV, is 
very, very into the Omani. So after our pretty good day at the swap meet, we go to quite a few garage sales. We ended up going to like five that whole day, and honestly, the only time we scored was at the very first one. The Bible game, I've never even heard of this, but I actually do enjoy, and I'm not joking, all the Bible games on the Nintendo. Oh, I see they have the Xbox One below. Oh, wow. Check this out, the new Xbox One. Here you have it. It's that uh, cool, sleek design they got. Uh, Xbox, find me stuff. Just kidding. I'm not hating on the Xbox One, guys, by the way. I know a lot of people do, but I don't really care. E3 hasn't come yet, so I'm not judging. Um, I'm guessing these have been picked through, is my guess. How much are the games? The ga um, the, those are PS2 games. They're $2 each. Two each? How much are these? A buck. I'll take them. Flippers. Yes. Ocean flippers. They're not swimmers flippers. I actually love bodyboarding. I know you guys don't know that, but I do. I had two pieces How much is this, today. by the way? Just curious. That's five bucks. I know. It's crazy. It has all the cords and remote. Look at that. I had... It's got the high toy, Aaron. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll probably get it. There you go, man. All right. So this is well. I'm a Shamu. <laughs> five bucks for PS2. She says it works. She's in the area, so... Shamu. She seems a little cool, like... I'm sure she wouldn't care if it was to let me return. This was so. deceitful. Look, I picked it up. I thought it was Shenmue. I was like, yes! I thought it was Shenmue also. <laughs> it's like the same, the S is like the same style as the Shenmue. <laughs> I was like, ah. Uh... Before we call it quits for the day, we head to one more store. This place actually sells a lot of Japanese game and imports. They don't have too many American games, but it's really fun for guys like us to look around a shop like this. Slug is like the second up to uh, Contra. It's like the it's the rival. Contra and Metal Slug. Oh, they're, they're nice. Better. They do have a lot of better art. Bucks. Better art than we do. Um, America, the American games normally don't get the best art, as opposed to like European, Japan. But maybe that's just because we're so used to seeing the same stuff now. We want, yeah. we want to see the new stuff. But I wonder if they think that like over there. Like if they think we have the better art. Yeah. I'm curious actually. Oh no. What? I'm addicted to Zelda games. Oh, there's nothing wrong with being addicted to Zelda. I think most people can feel your pain on that. Uh Mad World on the Wii. You guys think that the Wii is a kid system? This is like one of the most brutal games I have ever played in my life. It's like black and white, kind of reminds me of like Sin City in a movie. Um, kind of reminds me of like Quentin Tarantino, but it's super bloody and it's pretty much all about interesting ways of killing people. Like the gnarlier of a way you kill them, the better. So this is pretty good. 450. I have it already, but just letting you guys know, it's a. Uh, It's been a really fun and awesome game hunting day for us. But now it's time to go home and head our separate ways. Today's a little sad because we have to say goodbye to our friend Kingsley. And it's not like we can just call him up anytime as we said because he lives in Texas. But we really did have a lot of fun with him and we're ever thankful we got to see him. But it's time to say goodbye. What's going on guys? Aaron here. And Ricky. Hey, first of all, we want to say thank you to Chipsters. Chip. Um, that's a big deal for us. Actually, when we, our first, most of our episodes used to have a thing that popped up in the beginning that said inspired to make videos due to the work of NES Complex, Game Chasers, Retro Hunters. And you. And Chipsters. Chipsters. So, it was a big deal for us, like when you did this for us. I know it might sound dumb, yeah. but it means a lot to us. It really does. James, if you guys don't know who Chipsters is, I kind of doubt you don't know because he's got like 30,000 subscribers or something like that, so... Please check him out. His main thing that he does is the Easter Egg Hunter. This is the Easter Egg Hunter. Where he finds all like the hidden gems in video games. I know there's some big channels that do that now too, but he's been doing this for a long time before all of them. So, and he does an excellent job. He's one of the best channels on YouTube. He's one of the reasons we started doing this. Thank so, you, Chipsters. Thank you. We love you. And uh, we love you guys. Thank you again for everything you guys do for watching. We like to say thank you every time just because 
it means a lot that you guys sit around and watch two guys be stupid. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. well, thank you guys. Thanks. So, uh, all right. As always, Ricky over here. Bust a move four. So bust a move. Freaking good, dude. Awesome game. I'd say one of the most addicting, like, puzzle, or what do you call it? I don't know think it's called It's just so game. easy and so simple, but it's so good. You guys know what Bust Move is. If you don't, it's one of those games where you literally just point a little thing and shoot a, a ball on match colors, but it's it's uh, good. It's one of my favorite time waster games, I yeah. guess you could call it. So. I used to love this on, our, on the arcade. Yeah. I don't know why. And then we got, I also got the bouncer for PS2. Yeah, which is square bounce soft. With me, bounce with me. I jiggle, 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 bounce with me. Bounce with me. I actually started it a long time ago, and I think I only got to like what ten percent of the game. Yeah, it's um pretty awesome. It reminds you of a Final Fantasy type game, but it's not like yeah. I guess it's not an it's a live action RPG game. I think it's called. Yeah, it's like, something like that. So, so yeah, now I can finally finish it. Finish him. Finish him. Finish it. Oh, speaking of finish him, <laughs> for the N sixty four, I got Mortal Kombat. Mythologies of Sub Sub Zero. I haven't played it yet, but I've heard it's not. Yeah, I can't remember if that's there. There is a Mortal is Kombat. The one? There's a Mortal Kombat out there that a lot of people talk trash on, and I think it's this one. Let us know, you 64 yeah. uh, people, 64 Matthew Glenn Plant, you uh, big 60, <laughs> Nintendo 64 people. Let us know because we don't know. Hey Matt, my nipples look like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Mischief Makers. Yeah, that was from uh, Mr. Dave Hester. And um, yep. if you guys haven't played this, I've talked about it before. It's like a puzzle platformer. To me, one of my favorite games on the Nintendo 64. It wasn't like the fully 3D roaming worlds like Nintendo 64 was doing, but it was mixing a little bit of 3D, 2D, side-scrolling, platforming. Brilliant game. Mystical Ninja Goman. Geomon. 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 I... Alright, I'm looking it up right now. It's Goemon. Sorry. So Mystical Ninja... Awesome game. Also, my favorite awesome. one I think was in the Super Nintendo though. That was was amazing. Um, this one's amazing too. So definitely something to grab if you have not. All right, for me, I didn't get that much, but I got a few things. First thing I got was for the Genesis, Alicia Dragoon, which I originally heard from um, from Pat the NES Punk. If you guys have seen his video and uh, you want to check it out, go check it out. If you're not 18, probably don't check it out. <laughs> it's like a pretty <laughs> risky video. <laughs> But um, it's like a side-scrolling platformer, and it's really cool. You play as a girl named Alicia, and you get a lot of superpowers and stuff. And it, it's really, it really cool. cool. Yeah, I only played it for a little bit. I haven't played it yet. I picked it up because of Pat. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited for this. So, big deal. Nice. The Bible game, which I haven't played. I We went to a garage sale, and um, it was sitting there. And honestly, the only reason I got it was the cover art. It's pretty cool. Hey, Xenophobe has really good cover art. Is that a good game? If and, you would have gotten it, I would have gotten it. Yeah. It awesome. And uh, it's clean. I know, I don't know if it's going to be fun or anything, but I'm actually a pretty big fan of the NES uh, Bible games. I know uh, AVGN messes with them a lot, but I actually really like they're them. They're awesome. Yeah, they're really fun games. And then I also got this uh, for five bucks. A PS2. Mine broke a while back, and I haven't replaced it in a while, so I saw this for five bucks. It comes with, like, the internet adapter on the back, and it has everything in there. I don't want to... You guys should have seen what he got, honestly. Yeah, everything. it came with, like, the cable extenders, like, the eye toy, eye toy, and controllers, and all this random stuff, and it's in great condition, too, so... Five bucks. Five bucks for all that, so I was really happy about that. And then my last two things I got, which are pretty cool, I got Jackal. It's com I've got this a little while back, but I haven't shown it. Um, Jackal in the box, pretty darn near perfect shape. This is actually one of the NES games we got a while back that has never been played ever. So these are mint, 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 mint inside. And if mm -hmm. you haven't played Jackal, it's a Konami game, so you can imagine Konami, especially in the NES days, Super Nintendo game days, are awesome. Kind of like Akari Warriors, but in a more of a Jeep. And the last one I got, I'm just showing you guys this, it's not a good game really at all. It's like worse than Top Gun. <laughs> Delph. And the reason I'm showing it to you guys, as I know you guys can't really see in there, maybe you can. The box is the best box I have for any Nintendo game, and any game really at all. I mean, nice. it, it literally looks like it. nobody touched it, but it's Activision, and it's, like I said, like Top Gun, Flight Simulator. Boring game, but cool to have. I just looked up, <laughs> and looked you in the eyes, and I'm like, gosh, that's awkward. I also got some, we got some other games, but we just... Yeah, I know some of you guys ask, like, hey, why don't you guys show a lot of stuff? Honestly, you guys, it's time. It's really hard for me editing uh, every week. I don't have that much time. <laughs> with two kids and a pregnant wife and all that. So, yeah, every time me and Ricky pull out a bundle, we honestly get maybe like 20 games each week. Just but like, our rule is kind of like, just show just five. Just show five of the best. Yeah. Five of the ones you want to show. Yeah, because I, it's hard on time. So, but otherwise, that's it. And uh, 
like we say, as always, every freaking time, <laughs> like the videos. They do make us feel good, you guys. I'm serious. It yeah, really does. Honestly, some so, of those comments, dude, they're good. Yeah, the comments um, in the last video, you guys said some really cool things. A lot of you guys are saying we're your favorite YouTube channel and stuff. And to us, that's like mind blowing because we didn't think that anyone would ever think <laughs> that of us. So we're really thankful that we really appreciate it. It honestly does make my day when you read a comment like that. So yeah. you guys are cool. We have good friends now. And, um, Subscribe if you haven't. We're always here doing different things every week. Stupid stuff, silly stuff. I can't dance, so. Yeah, we can, dude. Kingsley. Did Kingsley. It. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, we're, we're <laughs> our buddy Kingsley. From, uh, he came down from Texas, you guys, and hung out with us. Um, nice guy. Yeah. Houston awesome. Retro Gamers on Facebook if you guys want to check him out. He's just a cool dude. Came down to see yeah. us and hang out. I don't know if he only came down to see us, but. Oh, yeah, we he did. Oh, yeah, that's why he came. <laughs> yeah, but just I know. Kingsley. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a super nice guy. And we had fun with him, so yeah, he's cool. For coming down and hanging out. Till then, I guess that's it. And I, someone did comment, they're like, oh, why didn't you do it? So, bye, guys. <laughs> didn't even flinch. <laughs>
but we're gonna keep trying again. So let's do it. Let's go more. Let's go, let's more. go to another grab So that's the end of our garage sailing for the day. We didn't do so well, but we have a convention to go to tonight, so we can still do pretty well. We are on our way to SC3 to hang out with YouTubers, play some arcade games, and have fun. There are trades and stuff. Ricky brought a couple things to trade. I only brought one thing to kind of give away, but uh, we're going to play some basketball right now to see who can make a basket into the baskets over there from the furthest distance. So we're going to... Have some fun doing that because we need to kill some time. We're a little early. So. Who thinks gonna win? Who's gonna win? I'd say probably me because I'm the best at everything. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. <laughs> Is that copyright? No, that's not copyright. <laughs> Because they party with like, their siestas. Wait, what's a siesta? I thought a siesta was a party. That's oh, a that's nap. a fiesta. <laughs> so wait, a fiesta is a party. What's a siesta? A nap. What? It's like two opposites, <laughs> but they sound exactly the same. Dude, they just wanted to make it simple. No, it's not so. It's confusing. Siesta and a fiesta. You just have to go. Hey, let's go to fiesta. You'd be like, oh shoot, it's a right. siesta. <laughs> Tacos Mexico. <laughs> Here's a, here's a work for 25 bucks. What's the flip? Actually, that's a new one. That's not a bad deal. I'm not paying 25 bucks. I don't buy games for over five dollars. There's, the, there's no CD. That's the rule, man. I know, but I, this is the only one I haven't beaten yet. I haven't played. Now we head out to another store that we haven't been to before, but we've heard some people talk about, we hear their prices are pretty expensive and we weren't sure if they wanted us to film or not, so we kind of kept it on the down low. Ricky ended up getting one game, but now it's time to go to that convention. So if there's one market that can compete with Mary Kate and Ashley, it's Bratz. I just got it factory sealed. This gentleman right here just actually gave it to me. So I might have to work on a Bratz collection in Mary Kate. So I'm gonna have like the world's most manly man cave. So yeah. <laughs> Anyone got Ricky's the, uh, picking this up for 15 bucks. An Atari Lynx. It's a handheld uh, Atari. Alright, so this is like my favorite find that I've had in the wild. I found this for three dollars a while ago. And Jose Arab is the first guy that ever supported our show and gave me his number and reached out to us. So I know he's big into him and he'll put better used to it than I will, so I'm giving it to him. Thank you, sir. Right. Yeah, yeah. So enjoy. Can I be on an episode too? <laughs> Is that a ninja with a golf? Ninja golf. Look at this. Look at this. Splatter House. Turbo Graphics 16. That's like the highly renowned Turbo Graphics. That's got to be our. Uh, I don't know. I don't, even, I don't think these are for sale. Look at this. Magical Chase on the screen. One of the most rare games ever. Not even just on the Turbo. So, it's a pretty sweet game. You ride around with a little witch and shoot. It's like a shoot 'em up, but as a little witch. This is really cool. A lot of really nice people here. Even though we're having an amazing time game hunting with a lot of people in the community, these arcade machines inside are set to free play. So let's go! How much time do I have left? Uh, we can stay as long as you guys want. A couple hours? This arcade was awesome. And another bonus was all the people we met in the community were extremely nice and honestly nicer than we could have imagined. We enjoyed ourselves this day. 
All in all, it was an amazing day, but now it's time to show you guys our pickups as usual. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And um, we're here to do our pickups in our video as usual. So Ricky, start up the pickups. Life Force, which is awesome. Super good game. Super good game, Konami. Konami 8-bit is fantastic. Shoot them up, kind of like Gradius. I think it's affiliated, right? It's affiliated with Something Gradius. Something like that. I if hope. It, if it's, if it's not, not, let us know. Tell us. Whoops! I think Oops. it is. Oopsie. Mr. Batman. Shh. Epic game, epic soundtrack. Just all out good. Yeah, Ricky hit it right in the head with the soundtrack, too. That's one of the best games ever right there on the, the Nintendo. Aaron actually got me into this soundtrack. Yeah, it sounds great. Sounds good. And then I got Super Bomberman 2 at actually a game place. Yeah, and it's... Game Geeks? Game Geeks, something like that. Something like that. It's super mint condition. The game's like a Bomberman super game, mint. though, but... But it's yeah, Bomberman. It's Bomberman. What you? You've all played Bomberman. Uh, quick little note, in high school, they had a Bomberman uh, computer <laughs> station. I actually set the high score for the whole entire school for that year in that game. So... <laughs> Praise me. Shadow of the Colossus, I was wa watching a weird Adam Sandler movie and he was playing it. Stop looking at me, Swan! Dude, I, all I wanted to do that entire movie is play this game. Stop the movie and play this game. And I have played it, but I didn't play it that much when I was a kid. My attention span wasn't too big on RPGs unless it was like a really bright RPG, like Super Mario RPG or something on the Super Nintendo. <gasps> this is great. It's really uh, wandering around, kind of like a Metroid thing, but not a Metroid style, but just you feel alone and... All the bosses are very epic, all the leaders and stuff, so we need to get back more Seriously. into it. You guys can tell us about it more. We know it's highly praised. I got an Atari Lynx. Yeah. Which is rad. Honestly awesome. Look at these look at these games. Yeah. It's like not even a game, but it's the handheld for awesome. Atari. And it is in color, so it comes with a case, but it's down I'm there. I'm surprised it didn't give Game Boy more of a run for its money. Maybe it did There's... in another area or something. I don't know. I don't even know where it was released or anything, but I know it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of buttons it's for awesome. a freaking handheld. Stupid thing doesn't even work! The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Woo! Went with my brother to swap me, three bucks. Yeah, three bucks for that. Epic. That's epic. Two Batman pickups in one day! <laughs> my favorite thing about it is it is like cartoon, so it, the animation reminds you of... It's the exact same as the cartoon. You, if you grew up in the 80s like we did in your childhood. You 90s know. and 80s. Uh, we were born. I was born in 85. Okay. So, yeah, the cartoons, you know, it's fun to see your cartoon stuff come to life, you know. Nope. Just oh, like yeah. the ending of Super Mario Brothers 2, which I liked. So leave me alone. Uh, Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey, one of my favorite hockey games of all time. Nobody could ever outdo you. Nobody. It was made by Midway, and Midway always did a fantastic job in sports games. Very good. As you guys know, we're not big sports guys, so the less realistic it is, the more we liked it. So I used to, I used to play that with my neighbor all the time. Yeah, it's good a great game. game. Snowboard Kids, which Ricky got before, so I don't even talk about it too much. I think it's at yeah, Atlas game, and um, it's snowboarding with kids, honestly. And uh, I liked it's it. Fun. Better, I liked it better than 1080. To be I honest, I did too. The best series of all time, in my opinion. I've played every one of these games ever for all this whole entire series. Uh, Pokemon Snap. No, I'm just kidding. You guys know I don't know anything about Pokemon. Oh snap! Oh snap! Pokemon. <laughs> this is the only one I know about. Um, it's the only one I really ever played. Hey, Aaron. Did you tell everyone you were gonna try Pokemon Ranger? I'm not gonna try this stupid game. Um, you take a lot of pictures, so I know it's not a typical Pokemon game, so I won't base my Pokemon. It's smile. It's smile. Yeah, this is fun though. I had fun with it. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. So even though I didn't know what Pokemon were, so let us know, Pokemon people. So I got Strider, which I've had for a while. I just forgot to show Strider, uh, Capcom, NES, 8-bit, amazing music. Some of my favorite music ever for Great. Nintendo, and still my brothers. Uh, share the same love I do for this game and uh, I just I have as much fun as I do with the Genesis one I know the Genesis one is technically a lot better, but um, I still love this game to death like for real It's good. And the last thing yeah. I got I got from a youtuber um, I wasn't sure which one I bought it off of so I don't want to say but um, actually we've got most of stuff from A lot guys. of this stuff's from the youtubers at SC3, so we loved you guys. You guys were all Honestly, awesome. Honestly, you guys are awesome. Thank yeah, you. thank you for hanging out We had so much fun with you guys for real. We, Seriously. We expected you guys to be nice and you were all nice than we could have imagined and all of you that were there not just the youtubers everyone was fun. We got to hang out with some people. Dude. I know we played some arcades with a guy named John. Dude, what arcade was that? Yeah. Robotron. Robotron is Robotron. the best arcade oh, ever. So much fun. Oh my hey, and gosh. the sad thing is Chris, our cameraman, who's not a video gamer, got the high score. <laughs> hey, I, I will say I set two high scores that night in those arcade cabinets. So hey, uh, but going on, uh, Sega Master System, Space Harrier, complete in box, really good condition. The game is fun. You're a dude that goes up and down and sh you know, shoots monsters and stuff. I don't know too much about the game in detail of how to describe it, but the reason I really like it is this is the first game I ever played on the Sega Master System. Dude. And I remember when you about to about to fly, he goes, get ready. get ready! So I just, I remember that. It's a really cool game. It is a fun game. 
I think Vintage Video Game Geek likes this a lot, so Vintage, if you need this at Portland, um, you can't have it. Yes, Aaron. I would like you to send me Space Harrier for the Sega Master System. You know I love to collect for that system. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll, but, uh, we'll trade it for a Metal Storm or something. Yeah, give us something expensive. <laughs> That's it, you guys. As always, like the videos, please. I know you guys <laughs> always do, and yeah. it's cool to see how much you guys like. These are awesome. But go ahead and click it right here, right now, if you haven't. If it's right here, don't. If this is dislike, don't don't click that. Whatever. The Unless, one that says this. Yeah, the one at the top. <laughs> so that comment on the videos, you guys do. You guys have been talking to Ricky live. I've been extremely busy editing, getting yeah, a video out a week. Really oh my has. god, it seriously kills me getting a video out a week. But it's worth it. Good man here. I, I love you guys. <laughs> That's why I do it, honestly for you guys. It's just fun. So um, that and uh, subscribe. If you guys aren't, come see us every week. We're always here. We put out. We've literally put out a video every week. Sometimes we put out twice. every week. Yeah, Ricky. <laughs> Sorry. Ricky! This is the way you yeah. said it. No, this is a children's show. What is Tyler from Luigi Freakout gonna do right now? He's, I'm sorry. Dad's gonna ground him for watching us. I'm sorry, Carlos and. Uh... Carlos Spicy Wiener. That's what they told <laughs> us to call Tyler. Okay, we need to end this video. So that's All it, you guys. Right. Um, we'll see you next week, whatever it is. I don't know. Maybe a review. We have a camera coming, a new one, and getting rid of this one, so hopefully the camera comes by the time we need it. Seriously. But, uh, Otherwise, not, no episode. Yeah. Next week. No, there'll be an episode next week. It'll be something. I don't care if it's us yes. pooping into the microphone. Pooping into the microphone. We gotta get out of here. Goodbye. Later. Aaron, I'm filming. If you want to say something. What are you going to say? Nice <laughs> pet. Hey, keep my pants a little when you do that. <laughs> want to see it? I have a crush on you. Sexually. Oh, sometimes, gotta get a good feeling, yeah. Had a feeling that I never, never, never knew I had before. No, no, gotta get a good feeling. Reason, man. Yeah, how'd you know? Because you're... Ricky, this is the same Contra 3 I had as a kid. The one that means the world to me. The one that was in my top five moments in gaming. Wanna uh, hold it? Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love that game so much. You were so young. It didn't have to be that way. <laughs> Let's just go. Get over it later. So this week we're doing something a little bit different and we're going game hunting during the week right after work. We're heading to a game store that we've never been to before but we did get the okay from the owner to go ahead and film. So you brought these for trade for today? Uh, just back up. For the most part Demon's Crest is coming with me to Portland. So Unless I really find something Somebody, I uh, <laughs> this is the Demon's Crest I wanted but either way, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Shut man. up. 
I think that you'll easily get a good trade for this if you want. I can't trade the other one because, you know, I got it from. You freaking have two. Yeah, you can't trade the other one. But. Nah. And this is good trade. I mean, super C. Anything, I think like anything Konami really on NES is like trade bait, Konami or Capcom. Yeah. It's pretty much like a golden rule for Super Nintendo and NES. Every time I see a plug and play, I think of Luigi Freak Out. Plain and simply. Come back at you. Oh, oh no, huh? This guy's of Arcadia. Nice. A lot of people like that. Here's a good Shenmue. A good Shenmue right here. I don't know what kind of a genre you would call this. A lot of people, that's like a big question. It seems like the question of the day whenever people talk about it is, what genre would you call it? Because it's like living life. Literally. It's pretty cool. That that is avenging cool your dad. That's Tennis it, right? Star Online. Let's see. Carrier. Never heard of Carrier. No, I heard this was the best game ever. No! I'm trusting <laughs> everybody, by the way, Dude. about this because so many people say this is. I already showed that. Yep. It's a great game. Dude, Dude, I'm like, this is like is supposedly, according to you guys, NES Complex and a bunch of people. But some of my favorite games are more obscure. Games like Beetle Adventure Racing, the racer that rewards exploration with ingenious shortcuts. Well, a great game on the N64, and right behind you is one of the best games ever, Chris. Mario 2, right there. Da -da -da, one of the best. Ever. Super Mario Bros. 2 on the Nintendo is a game that I have loved since the moment I started playing it. So I buy Ooh, Top Gear 2! Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Ooh, Adam's Family. It's actually a good, cool game, dude. What? Adam's Family? For the Super no. Nintendo? It is? Yeah. It really is. Yeah! 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 Ooh, I hope this is true. Whenever you're going game hunting at a new store or anywhere you've never been before, it's a good idea to introduce yourself to the employees. You never know if they have something behind the counter or somewhere they haven't been able to go through yet. Yeah, that's pretty box. sweet. It says Nintendo 64 in box, and I got my personal collection, which I don't usually pull out. So this guy Sean actually does decide to open up his personal collection to us, which he says he never pulls out. So this is going to be really cool and something that not a lot of people get to see in the store. Nice. That's, that's cool though, man. Yeah. Good Pokemon, for you Ruby in box. Seal. Got Seal. That. New in box. Nice. Emerald. SimCity. What are some of the other good ones? Ooh, SimCity Seal. Is that one sealed? I have SimCity in box also, but not sealed. Got a couple of these ones. Nice. Oh, they're cool. Ever seen an old Mario one like this? Oh yeah, I have seen these. They're awesome, dude. Oh, that freaking game awesome. watchers. Seriously. Seriously. And then my favorite one. <sighs> so rad. Are you kidding? What is that? that one? It's Action Fifty Two. Yep. Oh no man, way. run! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Check this out. Action. Yeah, 52. I've been offered 700 cash for that thing, and I'm like, no. That's awesome. rather. That's I just like pointing out, showing people. That's cool though when people have their their store, but they also collect uh -huh. and stuff. It's cool. I got Sean written on there. Ricky the wants drawer. to touch it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just wanted to touch it. The only bad thing about that game is don't think it's broken. It will not play on retro. It only plays on original. Oh, Nintendo. cool. That's what I. Yeah. It feels like sturdier. Dude, than a, yeah, it feels like look at all freaking, the chips inside. Yeah, it feels like beast. <laughs> and it's a horrible game. There's not a oh, single yeah, yeah. game worth playing on. Yeah, here is that the one that after like level two it stops? Yeah, the second level just <laughs> runs you into the wall the second you start. Which one? Well, which game on here? It's like I think the third, second, the second game. As soon as you turn it on and you're like a shooter and it runs you straight into a wall. Oh. Like unless you've played it, you like don't know to get out of the way. <laughs> so, yeah. I haven't even played half of them. I know Cheetah Man's on there. Yeah, Cheetah Man. She does. Oh, Ooh, a limited the Pikachu uh, Game, yeah, Game Boy. Boy. That's cool. I, left, I gotta pull it out of there because I, I didn't even think of the sun. But it has original Japanese batteries still in it. No, oh, wow. it came from a friend of mine who actually played it once, put his closet and lost it and couldn't find it until he just moved a few months ago. Oh, wow. Man. 
So at this point, we're just having a lot of fun and honestly not even really shopping and just having fun with the behind the scenes stuff of how he runs his store. And now he does something that we didn't expect, something that not many resellers do at all, especially ones who own their own store. Oh, uh, no, dude, I just saw one of those spots the other day. For how much? The lady didn't have a sweater. Right, but it wasn't complete. Dude, it was jacked up, Five though. Five bucks? But it wasn't complete. No, we, didn't, we had no idea if it worked or not. No, it was, it was jacked up, though. Oh, this like, one's like, comes with paper everything. Sweet. In fact, so was it not working? The train won't come out. Don't worry, dude, I got, I'll got you covered. Yeah, I figured. Here, let him, uh... You guys can have this one as a gift. What? Ooh, are you serious? Yeah. Are you for real? I'm feeling generous, generous today. Why not? Dude. What? Yeah, Thanks, for you, man. Because you're a collector, you're not going to find that again, and you're not definitely not going to find the paper. And it's, yeah. This is the kind of people you don't come across. Seriously, look at that. This is the kind of person you don't come across all the time. I will tell you that. Awesome. Thank you, sir. People are nice. You, just, you never know. Sometimes you lose hope in humanity, but there's good people out here. <laughs> I like this guy. You like him? He's too feminine though. Check out his eyes. <laughs> he's, he's got, he's got like super pretty eyes. Look at those lashes. If you put like one of those turban things on, it'd be a super sexy Persian girl. I mean, it's just not that right. That is so true. Me out. That is awesome. Come look at this guy's eyes. That is straight up female from there. Wow. Pretty. Nice eyeshadow. Yeah. Alright, they got Skitchen. Which, if you guys don't know what Skitchen is, it's um, a game where you're like a rollerblader, and like it reminds me of like the 80s or 90s when you hold on to the back of a car and you basically ride on the back, almost like Road Rash, but on rollerblades. I know back in the day it was cool to see a Skitchen. Let's just call but, it Roller Rash. And the Continue Show just did this. Skitchen, bro. We getting down with the Skitchen. We Skitchen. <laughs> and for 99 cents with label damage, I don't care. It's 99 cents. 99 cents for any game is something you do if you don't have the game. That's just kind of a rule. And now we would like to present you with a random fact with Aaron. I'm always tempted to like hang out outside of Goodwills and like jump people and be like, give us the no games problem. first. The more you know. Really? Konami's the only How are you best doing, Aaron? We're in time just coming. This is my game. I beat this game without dying. How many lives do you have? Just kidding. I just started. <laughs> I think you have five lives to start with. I just started, literally. I love this game so much. It's one of the best games ever. So all in all, the guys at Play and Trade and the owner Sean were really cool and it's a game store that we don't only need to shop at, but just a store to hang out and have fun. Now my wife kind of surprised me the next Saturday morning when she asked me if I want to go to the swap meet last minute and she said she already called Ricky's wife and we're all meeting up for like an hour or so. Let's do this! I'm trying to collect all the colors on the N64, and it's the gold one that I really want. But, it doesn't have the top piece. Ah. Uh. But it comes with the two controllers, right? Gold? Uh, supposedly. For how much? 60. No, well, that one is the Sony. The Sony I have everything for, but the Nintendo I don't. Five bucks. Five bucks? Five bucks is good for me. Wow. What is that? You know what? I don't know. I think it's legit. I'm gonna shoot Gamester a text right now and ask him what that is. Atari 1027? I'm gonna take a picture for him too. Here, I'm gonna give out Gamester's number if you guys want it. No, I'm just kidding. It's 1 800 Big Hands. What? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna send that to John. Ask him. How much is this? When you come across something that you're not sure about or you've never seen before, it's a good idea to find out as quick as possible if it's something rare or if it's something you might be interested in. If you can, find out from somebody that knows what they're talking about as soon as possible. What's your reaction to that price, Aaron? I'm gonna wait till Gamester gets, uh, text me back. 
So we'll see in a little bit. They'll still have it. These people are. Always I just got my links, so found some links games. Actually, Aaron did. So I'm probably gonna get them. We got checkered flag for the links, California games, and some NFL football. California games is awesome. It is pretty fun. I think Chris really liked the game. So John texted me back, Gamester, and he said that it's kind of like a paperweight now. He said that it's not really like something of value, it's just if a collector wants it. So I'm not that big of a collector for the Atari, so I'm kind of glad I didn't get it, but it seemed like something kind of cool to have. I mean, I don't know. I don't really understand what I would use it for nowadays, but... Paperweight. For a good paperweight. Hey, better than nothing. All right, let's go. So at the end of the day, we didn't get that much of the swap meet, but combined with the time that we had at the other video game store during the week, this was a good week for us. And we sure had a lot of fun taking our wives and our kids to the swap meet with us. Ricky and I basically trained our sons to live on the NES pursuit when we die. See you next time. See you next time. What's going on, guys? Aaron here. Ricky. And uh, we are ready to film. We are using our new camera, which is kind of the same quality, a little bit better quality. But the best part is we don't have to use a snowball mic with a road mic hooked up at all times. So I get to like relax a little more with the audio editing. So yeah. Yay! Um, hey, let's get straight into our pickups. This is the part of the video if you're new to us. Um, this is the part of the video where we bring you guys into our home, into my home, my game room. Pretty and uh, show you guys what we got. So let's let Ricky start. He's normally the one that begins for us. First up will be Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Never played it. Me neither. I didn't even <laughs> Yeah, we don't know anything about it. So if it's good, let us know. We are Final Fantasy fans. So, but not extreme hardcore, but we do like them. So let us know, guys. Please do. I was actually really glad to get this one. I loved it when I was a kid. Joe and Mac. Yeah, that game's freaking fun. It's so much fun with the dinosaurs. Throwing the bones at the dinosaurs. Yeah, I'd say it's one of the better um, multiplayer games on the Super Nintendo. It's fun. It made it to our honorable mentions in our top ten list. So. I can't remember if part one or part two is the one I really like, but... Uh, I don't know. You guys let us know which Who knows. one's better. And then I also picked this up on Craigslist. Well, from a Craigslister. Mega Man 4. Yes. Freaking Mega Man 8-bit days are like the greatest awesome. things of all time. Most people say Mega Man 2 is the best. Iron Man is better than Mega Man. <laughs> um, I was watching a review today by Mike Matei from uh, AVGN about uh, Mega Man 9. And uh, all the Mega Mans, man, 8-bit so were good. just so awesome. They're all great, but something about those 8-bit sounds and chiptune sounds is just... Uh, that it's heaven. That beginning on Mega Man 2? Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it's heaven. I'll insert a clip now. Now the clip's over. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it, that just made more work for myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also got this from uh, another guy on Craigslist. It's the Nintendo, what is that? GPX 1500. It looks like it's licensed by Nintendo, so. Ta da! Dun, da, da. The, ga the games in it didn't come, I just wanted to show it. Yeah. It holds games. You get to hold all those games, Ricky, I'll take that. So we got this from the guy from the guy at Play and Trade. Yeah, he actually gave it to us. Really cool. Yeah, the Game Boy printer paper that has the box and the booklet. Dude, and this. Came with the it's, manual. And for free, that doesn't happen a lot. And you guys know that. When do you go to a, a reseller store, especially where the guy gives out <laughs> free stuff? So Sean, awesome guy. If you're watching, we gave you our channel name. So hopefully, if you're watching. Okay, so we were just looking at this Game Boy printer, and Ricky noticed something. Whose Game Boy printer might that have been? John, John Mayer. Mayer. Your body is a wonderland. It even says in the back. <gasps> it's gonna be worth millions! <laughs> Thank you again, Play and Thanks, Trade. Man. Mission Viejo. Check it out. Really nice guy. Super nice guy. Yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, he's a fun guy to talk to even if you don't care about video games. So, seriously. <laughs> and then when I bought the other stores, you know, I got this for free. He threw this in. Well, not the Nintendo. This is actually my original one from when I was a kid, but. That's sweet. That's pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's for the NES. I don't know what it's for, dude. To be honest, the controllers fit in the side, and it's that's cool. Ricky did buy a Nintendo though for five bucks this weekend. Oh yeah, that's a good deal. I, I think I put it in the video. I just finished editing part of it. I actually, so. used a bunch of the parts to make this one whole again. There you go, Ricky. Do a barrel. <sighs> Holy crap! First game I got Skitchin for Genesis. If you guys know about this game, um, I showed a little bit of the Continue Show thing. Um, it's very funny. It's goofy. It is not a fun game. Not a good game. I guess it's fun for like 10 minutes riding around in the back of cars. I got it for 99 cents, <laughs> so 
You can't beat that. Hey, it was from, <laughs> from Blockbuster. Hey, this is from our good buddy Sean. Uh, Sagisiyama, however you say it. He's a subscriber. He just uh, sent me this, so. <laughs> Freaking Tenjin Tetris, you guys. That's nice. uh, pretty crazy he sent us this. As you guys know, this is the more, uh, not say, say rare, but more uncommon, harder to find, more valuable Tetris. So, Sean, thank you so much. It's very nice of you, Sean. We yeah, very much appreciate Sean, that. Thanks. Um, I got this in box, Beetle Adventure Racing, which I haven't played yet, but I hear from a lot of you guys that it's an amazing game. Beetle Adventure Racing. So, Beetle Adventure Racing. Hopefully it is as good as you guys say. I have faith in the YouTube. Beetle Adventure Racing. This I played when I was a kid, so I don't remember it. Um, too well, I know it's like a platformer type game. It's called Zool, and it says it's an interstellar dweller. So, <laughs> that's, a, that's a way better way of saying a platformer game, in my opinion. Yeah, it looks really cool. You're a weird looking ninja dude. I don't know how to explain it. It's been a long time since I played it, I won't lie, I didn't look up footage or anything, half so... Half ninja, half demon or something? I don't know. It, it looks fun, though. The last thing I got, haha, I got from this guy. He had, like, three copies, and I traded him some stuff for it. Finally, in my hands, Contra 3, The Alien Wars. As you guys know, this awesome. was, was in my top five moments in gaming. Uh, the intro in here was a big part of my life when I was a kid, and I, <laughs> I literally, you guys, had nightmares about that intro. That's as far as I made it. And I don't know if it was because I was sick, but I was scared out of my mind. I'm not joking when I say I saw that image that night in my nightmares. I'm not kidding when I said that in the video. I have nightmares where I look up in the sky and I see that face. Um, the red falcon? Is that what it's called? I think, I think so. so. Yeah, staring at me. So that's a real thing. <laughs> Stay away. There he is. Oh! <laughs> so, hey, that's it. I haven't done that in a long time, so I needed to. Sorry, re recut Whatever. Out. Hey, but like the video, I know when I don't say it, I don't know if you guys forget or if you guys don't <laughs> care. When I don't say it, I feel like the videos don't get near as many likes. And the only reason we like, want them is because it makes us feel good about doing more and spending all this time doing them. So hit that like button again if uh, you can. We'd appreciate that. Uh, comment, talk to us. We love talking to you guys. You guys are funny people, nice Seriously. people. <laughs> Dear Aaron and Ricky, we would like to inform you that someone in the previous episode commented that they were sad because there was no dancing in that episode. Sincerely, YouTube. What? And uh, subscribe, we're here every week um, doing different things. Usually a review one week, and he has pursuit video the next. That's kind of how we've been working with it. So yeah, yeah, next week will probably be a pursuit video. I mean, a review, and then a pursuit video after that. A review. A review. And uh, hey, a new thing I wanted to say, not new, but Instagram does videos now, and we actually just posted a video on Instagram of this before all of you are seeing this Ooh. on YouTube. So it's kind of cool to go to Instagram with the videos now. We do funny things on there with the videos, and updates are really easy to do now. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, we have funny conversations. We do a lot of polls, and a lot of you guys respond. Seriously. If I ask, sometimes you guys have like 150 people answer on Facebook, so it's really cool of you guys. So stay involved with what we're doing, and um, that's it. And But there's one more thing. We are going game hunting with someone on Wednesday. Let me tell you who it is. His name is... <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, <laughs> uh -huh. did you see how close I got to the camera? Hi, Chihuahua. Hi, Chihuahua. <laughs> Previously on the NES Pursuit. We are going game hunting with someone on Wednesday. Let me tell you who it is. His name is... from Faraday, Daniel Faraday. 
that from? Uh, somebody's name in some movie or something. Daniel Faraday. Oh, I got it! Lost! Yeah, there's a guy. Today is an extra special day for us here on our show. We're meeting up with two YouTubers, one we've met before and hang out with quite often now, but the other we've never met in person. We're super excited. Let's see who it is. I'm Chris. I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're at Frank and Sons, and we're gonna go game hunt. Let's go. Oh yeah, now it's not tame. This is Night Trap right here. amazing. It is known to be uh, kind of in charge of the FCC ratings, what started it. I know some people say Mortal Kombat might be it, but this is also it. It's uh, very, very risky for back then. From drug deals to cheating to nudity. So. Cool game. I kind of want it, but I don't have $69 to pay. But, very cool. Good to see you. This place is awesome. I'm like super excited today. Tonight! Tonight! So as we're walking around here at Frankensons, we run across a game that's pretty expensive and very highly desired. So let's see how we do with this. How much? Uh, how much is the Panzer Dragoon Saga? We're looking at Panzer Dragoon Saga. Super expensive. We're finding out the price. 150. 150? I pick it up for 150. I already have a copy of that. 150. You're not gonna slap me, though, sucker. Ricky, pull out your pesos. <laughs> they don't take pesos here, so I can't buy anything. <laughs> so the price wasn't that bad, but it wasn't for us. We don't have a lot of money, and we're not resellers, so we're not gonna make any money off it. So we passed. Secret of Mana, Illusion of Gaia, and. Uh, Alpha Mission by SNK. Actually not a bad shoot 'em up for the Nintendo. I picked it up a while ago. It's pretty good. Uh, Game Boy Printer. Uh, we did just get one for free from that guy Sean at uh, that resale store, Mission Viejo. You guys can have this one as a gift. What? Ooh, are you serious? Yeah. So we don't need one now, so thank you Sean if you're seeing, but that is what is it? really awesome. That is like you're extremely cool. Good. We're super excited about it. This is a sequel to it. Yeah, I have. It's awesome. It's honestly getting so hot now. I love it. Like blue fire. Yeah. yeah. This those is are, a sequel. I love those type of games. Do you still have yours? Good call, John. As we're hanging out at this place looking for some games, we're approached by a group of guys who said they watch all of our shows. It's really cool to meet up with guys in the community, even though they thought Chris was 8-Bit Eric. Hey guys, what's up? This is 8-Bit Eric. <laughs> what pin is that, Ricky? N64 and Capcom. Oh, right I like the Capcom uh, one. Capcom! Oh, Sega one is cool. Chris, I found yours. Okay, man, got a pajama. Man, look at they have a Ness hat right behind you. Seriously, will you wear this? I'm not kidding. Pikachu, use and Thunder, Smash! This guy. Hey, How much? Oh, this guy too. Yeah. Eight bucks? Yeah. Like, well, like, you want to get that one? <laughs> Your call, Ricky. What's Ricky gonna do? I really want all the That's what you forget. Ricky, did you get that red control? <laughs> no. Why not? Ricky didn't know. even ask him. He said eight bucks, and Ricky didn't even ask him to go cheaper. Oh. I'm sorry, I got a splinter and eight. <laughs> Somebody told me that the original voice for Shredder was the dad from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So that's true, right? That, that, yeah, that, that is, that's true. There that's, you go. That's, right. that's awesome. Did you know that's that? A, the original voice of Shredder was the uh, the dad in uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uncle Phil. That's what I heard I'm, too. I'm, you heard it too? I'm so, pretty sure. Don't you know how to say please? Yeah, you can't go wrong with the buck. That's a good rule right there of thumb. I think last time I came here that you guys had like bubble bobble too or true, something. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And Kirby, right? Dude, Super Mario now we're at a shop that has tons and tons of Nintendo stuff only. It's like a little piece of heaven for Ricky and I. Are you overwhelmed, Ricky? There's so much stuff here. I just don't know what to get. Seriously. 
I want more money. Too many options. Babe, I want more money. What's girl, girl, what, ghost lion? Yeah, what is ghost lion? Really? It's, it's like, like Zelda. <laughs> All right, that's Not a big comparison. No, yeah. <clears throat> no, no. Looks like yeah, Dragon Warrior type. Yeah, yeah that looks Zelda. like yeah, totally Dragon Warrior. Ghost Lion. Never. Uh, it's a real game. Never tried it. Well, it's a later game. So I like the real. Uh, Farrah Fawcett and Siegfried and Roy. That's from Nashville. Uh, right no, we're uh, <clears throat> uh, from um, Luke Perry. No. Yeah, Perry <laughs> with his hair going on. No, no what's the other show that was like Nairo 2 that came out? Bad Place? Melrose Place. Melrose Place. Totally. <laughs> So I'm here at this place minding my own business looking at games when the guys play a trick on me and it doesn't seem like something John and Chris would do, so I was a little sad. Tell him. Are you guys whispering to me? Where? I don't know where it is. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you guys, my heart's racing. What happened? Your one they freaking anymore? told me there was a little Samson over here somewhere, and I started walking over here all whisper like. Did you know? Really? You're freaking done. All right, Melvore, Dodongo, you're not gonna work for us. We don't pay anything. We're poor. Freaking jerks. I hate you guys. I'm a man. I promise. Oh, man. So as we're walking into this next door, a guy walked in right before us with tons of box Nintendo games. We missed him by a few seconds. It's every collector's worst nightmare for timing. Yeah. Are these yours? Like, yeah. Wow. When you were a kid? Yeah. Dang, that's pretty cool. My parents always made me keep most of them in the box. They made you. Yeah. Well, how mean. <laughs> Man, I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that hurts someone like us. Actually, in the episode that's gonna post, or a week ago technically, I talk about this. How I wanna wait outside of Goodwills and be like, hey, 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 <laughs> I'll pay you for this stuff. I'll give you decent money for this. Hey, 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 hey. So, hey, 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 hey. hey, hey this hey. hurts my stomach, honestly. My stomach. Yeah. So here we walk into another game store where the employee and his son both watch our show again and we're getting blown away by the community. I don't even know what to say about this except thank you and we appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Get out of here. Hey, thank you, buddy. No problem. I appreciate that. Okay. Go ahead. What's your name? Lewis. 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 Lewis right here. Nice guy. Thank you, Lewis. And Lewis and his son back here hanging Jacob. out too. Jacob. Thank you, guys. We're oh, look at that. You're an artist. This nice. is amazing. This is very cool. So I know how I'm eating every morning for the rest of my life with this on my lap. So thank you. Hey, I appreciate that so much, buddy. Thank okay. you. So I picked up uh, Rap Jam, and Aaron, who's in this? Queen Latifah, LL Cool J. It is like it's dude. It's up there with both. Shaq Fu. <laughs> yeah. Up there. Up there. I also picked up uh, this beast of a thing. I also picked up this beast of a thing. Pay ten bucks for it. Comes with the Game Boy. Yeah, that is awesome. And he's doing this for free as well. Another Game Boy, so basically five bucks each. Yeah, John killed it, and that's the same guy who gave us this. And that is nice. I mean, if you look right there, that is not something that people give away. Yeah, give away much from their shop, so we're like yeah. super stoked. The people in the gaming community are some of the nicest people I've ever met. I've been involved in other communities and a lot of people aren't near this generous, so. Mind blown. Oh, we gotta show this to Ricky. Check this out. Now, that day was one of those days Ricky and I can look back on forever and say, that was one of the funnest days we've ever had game hunting. And it wasn't just because of the game hunting, but because of the good times we had with John and Chris. We wish we could do this more often, but we all have real lives to live, so we're thankful for the time that we did get together. But now it's time to say goodbye.
All right, so that is the end of our trip to Frankenstein's. Chris, <laughs> Chris looks like he doesn't care, but uh, it was fun hanging out with John. I'm sure all of you guys know his channel, Game Straighty One, and uh, Chris from NES Complex. If you guys don't know either of the channels, check them out. I highly doubt you don't know, but it was fun hanging around with them too. Yeah, you yeah, guys got recognized by the Whatever. Hey, so we all did. So that was fun. We're, it just shows. Ah, oh, see. Oh, oh, oh. It just. Oh. It just shows how cool it can be. <laughs> I had this coming. I deserved this for the longest time. That was hard I will hang, hang my head in shame. We're leaving. Goodbye. Peace. Later. Bye -bye. Oh boy. Kiss him. And if you're new to our videos, as we say, hey, this is the end of the video where we like to bring you guys in, show you guys what we got in a little more personal level. So it's time to get personal with us. <laughs> Yay! Everything you've ever dreamed of. And as always, if you watch, you'll see that um, Ricky goes first. I'll start off with, I uh, actually bought this from a guy from work. It came in a GameCube bundle. So, it was Zelda Wind Waker and Zelda Twilight Princess. My goodness. Good Which is, games. it's funny because t they're both like the complete opposites of um, graphics. Wind Waker is like very kiddish and Twilight Princess, if you've seen the graphics, are very adult theme and stuff. I, I really love Twilight, honestly. I think it's both cool graphics. I also yeah. enjoy games that have like kiddish graphics too, so. I think it's just because I played this one with my kid when he was like, there you go. So small. So, so small. Wish I had the GameCube one though. I'm going for that one next. And then this one came with that GameCube pile as well. I've never played this game, but I've heard so many good yeah, things. So, Skies of Arcadia. Skies. Arcade. Legends. Which we honestly, you guys can admit, we don't know much about. Well, we do know it's a valued item and it's more people go after it a lot. Sweet. We don't know much about it at all, so... Sweet yeah. RPG, that's all I heard. Yeah, definitely let us know. I know you guys will. You guys always come through. And Yeah, I know it started on Dreamcast, I, so I didn't sweet. know that. How dreamy! Oh. I love my retro stuff, so... <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's, uh. let's go Pest Terminator. It was actually... I picked it up at uh, Fat Collectibles, but man, I was expecting Hammering Harry with that hammer. It's not like Hammering Harry. It's okay. Definitely not like Hammering Harry. I had this when I was a kid. I actually owned it. Actually, a uh, guy that goes grew up went to our high school. His grandpa is the one who started like the Pest Terminator West Western Exterminator Western Exterminator, Western Exterminator business. And uh, this is their maybe their, he has their mascot. Box. Yeah, he probably does have it like sealed or something. Yeah, the game's very. It's boring. It's the smash. song is so repetitive. My goodness. Uh, yeah, a lot of NES games that don't that aren't big. You know, Color Dreams didn't work too hard on their games. What can sure, you so. expect though? Honestly, it's okay. It's okay. It was all right. You beat up like pests and stuff and mice. And then I actually picked this up when I was out with all the guys, Gamester. Oh yeah, we went Chris. with we went with Chris and John. By the way, that was freaking amazing. We didn't even mention that. That was that was awesome. Something that meant a lot to us going out with John and Chris. We hang Such out with cool guys. Yeah, we hang out with Chris a little bit more, but John yeah. we don't get to see too much because he's in Arizona. Was, so yeah, it was awesome to hang out with you guys. It was amazing. Except Seriously. Chris, we could have done without you, but that's okay. I'm just kidding. That's not true. We love you. Just air. I got Dragon Warrior three. Yeah, which is expensive, too. Yeah. And Ricky did get a good deal. We won't say what, because I know a lot of people don't like when you give exact numbers, because 
people see it and resell and all that. But um, it was that was such a good deal. I had to get it. And I don't remember playing that one. I re I know I did play Dragon Warrior the original a lot on the NES, which was originally Dragon Quest, I think, in Japan. But um, never played that one too much. So I don't know how the actual game goes as far as fun. I heard it's really good. Like. I guess Good. we'll have to find out by playing it. Oh darn. Well, I'm but. still stuck on Mario RPG, so after that. That's an amazing game. Mario RPG is one of the best. Okay, my stuff. The first thing I'll talk about. F Zero. Did someone, someone say Mario Party? Party for Super Nintendo. Ooh, good. Uh, you guys all pretty much know about it. It's a racing game, uh, futuristic. And um, the main thing I re remember when I was a kid is like Mode Seven racing the whole time, which was pretty uh, ingenuitive, intuitive, ingenuity. You guys will tell us. We're stupid. But yeah, it's like that. Great music. That's good. Second thing I got, don't judge. Ten yard fight for a dollar. And I know it is a terrible uh, sports game on the NES, but I played it a lot when I was a kid, so it's kind of memorable to me. I actually think I played it more than Tech Mobile. I know it's not better. I enjoyed Tech Mobile better. But um, I know when you run, or there's no music, I don't think, and it's like... <laughs> I'm serious. I think that's what it does, so... Hey, black box. I love black box stuff. Yeah, even though I'm I don't working have, on my stuff. Even though I don't have the box. And no. uh, you know, we did get a bunch of stuff from a guy named Super Nintendo Zach, which was an amazing box. So th Honestly. thank you very much. Thanks, Zach. Seriously, I sent you a personal message and did an Instagram thing and all that. But um, one of the things that stood out to me is another. Is that a Color Dreams game? Was I not right when I said Pest Terminator was Color Dreams? You no, it is. You're okay, right. that was correct. This is also Color Dreams Raid 2020, which if you guys have played, um, it's. Terrible. It's definitely worse than Pest Terminator. You're like a cyberpunk I don't look pretty cool. guy. Well, it's funny, like people are like dealing like drugs and your mission is to like literally shoot them in the face and kill them. So I guess you get death penalty automatic for dealing drugs. But hey man, you want some of that sweet black manta? Unacceptable! It's a it's not a good game at all, but it's I love it because it is blue. It's just like that one. But so, it sounds so awesome. How could it it be looks bad? really cool too. The cover art's really awesome on it. I don't know if it'll zoom in on that, but uh the cover art's awesome on this. So Super Nintendo Zach, thank you very much, and thank you Thanks, to everyone man. who has sent us stuff. Super Nintendo controller in box. Um I just wanted to show it to you guys because it's in the box and it's cool to get these. Just because it's stuff that, you know, in the box. In the box. In the box is always cool. Nothing special, licensed Nintendo controller, but Super Nintendo, one of the most comfortable controllers ever made. I do love Street Fighter on Super Nintendo. It's really comfortable, I'll be honest. Hey, and the last thing, pretty awesome. Actually, very awesome. The guy, oh, I think it was cool. Luis and Jacob, I think was their names. He gave us this TV tray, which you guys got to see in the video. Hopefully, you guys can see that while I talk. It's really cool, you guys. It had a price tag on it for 85 bucks, and I don't think this is something a lot of people would give away. Yeah, give away. He just happened to be someone who watched our show and really awesome. enjoyed us. So we thank him very much for thank that. Thank you, man. And I can't wait to eat my Lucky Charms on this every morning. Or my Mario cereal. Wasn't there Mario cereal? There was Mario. There was actually Zelda cereal as well. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Psh, I miss those days. But that's all we got. We don't have anything else. We um, had a great week, though. It was super oh, fun. good. It was a freaking awesome week. We thank you guys. Um, we thank you guys again for being a part of this community with us. It just shocks me every time I really do look back at it. I'm like, dang, we're being supported big time. Yeah. So some of the videos are getting like 550 likes and stuff now. So that's awesome. Keep doing that, you guys. Like the video right now as I'm speaking. Bam! Click it. Did you miss it? Bam! Click it again. Bam! Bam! Yeah, click that. Subscribe. No! Yeah, everyone's unsubscribing. Turn it back! So hey, uh, we appreciate that. Comment, Ricky's the guy that responds because I'm always editing. I get respond here and there, a little one or two, but Ricky's the commentor. And um, subscribe if you don't. Uh, we're here every week and we uh, act stupid on camera successfully every week. <laughs> so that's what we do best, is be stupid. And oh! Hey, thanks to DX2929 for these cool oh, yeah. curler beads that he sent us. He did a whole bunch of these, so we wanted to say thank you. His name's Roger. He's a Roger. He's a cool guy. His YouTube channel is DX2929. Yeah, that's it, you guys. So we'll see you next week, because you're coming back no matter what. Or we'll come to your house personally and double slap you. So, <laughs> adios, senoritas. <laughs>
how are you doing? Alright, so yeah, my uh, third pickup for the week is I got Twisted Metal on PlayStation. Ricky, do you like this game at all? It's alright. <laughs> got him again! So, another thing is, this game is like... God, I'm so tired of getting slapped every stinking week. Honestly, just one of these days I'm gonna go off on him. But, he is my friend. Well, that's my favorite character, he's kind of the bad the bone guy. But, um, I got it for a couple bucks. Screw it, I've been taking this week after week. It's now or never. Uh, 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 I'm going for it. Die, Devil Bird! Sure? Yeah, I wish I worked at one of those. Have every <laughs> Sunday off. I don't know if you wish you worked at one of those. Ricky's had her dreams to call. Ricky, you could apply at the thrift store. I'm sure. I should, dude. If I if I won the lotto, I'd still work at the thrift store and be like, hey, you don't have to pay me. Just whatever old games come by, just give me those. <laughs> <laughs> one comes in in like seven months. Ricky only gets like one video game. But, what if it's little Samson? <laughs> It's been about two weeks since Ricky and I went game hunting, so we're headed out to Riverside today to go, but first we gotta stop and discuss some game bartering. Look first. I don't know what I could possibly have that you would trade me Demon's Crest for. Except, mm, I'll give you my copy of Journey to Silius. <laughs> oh my god! What's up guys? I am Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're, we're Riverside. Riverside. Let's go! Looking through How much are other games? Three bucks for Twisted Metal. It's a bad to the bone game. Would you do two for five? Cheap. Ah. Ooh. Predator two. I actually like this picture. That is a cool picture. I've never played Predator 2. <laughs> Me right, I will look it up before I put it in the game, before I find footage, but I'm guessing that it's going to be like a side-scrolling platformer beat-em-up-ish. That's my guess. Has to be. We'll see. I'll put it in the video when I find out. I'm guessing it's RPG. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Hey, never know. All right, I'm getting Golden Axe 2, Twisted Metal. Oh, yeah. Golden Axe 2 has, like, amazing art, by the way. It's, like, super, super mystical. Now you guys may not know this, but Ricky tends to slip away and not say anything when he disappears and looks for games. But this time it's my turn. Ricky, you got Ricky back here coming. I'm a Big Mac man. Oh, well, I figured I'm sitting there waiting for Ricky to go talk to someone. What am I doing? This is my chance to freaking catch him slipping. So. Or catch him sleeping or something, I don't know. I feel I feel so bad using the Game Chasers reference for that. But that's the way the pursuit plays out though. Immediately after that, we run into some Xbox organizer we've never seen. Let me see. So what it looks like, wow. So what it looks like is it just stores your discs? If you have disc only stuff? I'm guessing, unless you can hook it up to the... No, it doesn't look like you can hook it up to the Xbox. I don't think you can hook it up. Oh, it has a bunch of power plugs in the back. I don't know, I've never seen it. That's interesting. Uh, it's not something I need, but I've never seen it. Let us know if you've seen it. 
It's kind of cool. Xbox Game Manager by APC. So. All right, so every time we're here, we seem to be naming these goats. So I'm gonna name two of these. This one's gonna be Zach Pseudo Productions. And this one right here will be RPG Tour Guide. So, you guys have been named. You can join Chris Roberts in the ranks of goats. So, we love these goats. Except they don't have sanitizer today, and I feel like I have, like, ticks under my finger now. So, great. Hey, the tick's awesome. The tick is awesome. Spoon! Spoon! Remember that guy? <laughs> That was a good TV show as a kid. Actually, not a lot of people like it. I know they made like video game ports of it too, and they were fun. Super uh, animated game. All right, guys. So, in case anyone wants to mess with you, you get one of these. You know how big this is. Don't mess with me. <laughs> this thing is gnarly. So, only for the Marines. Yep. Rat <laughs> da 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 da. And Devil May Cry. I don't know, does the devil cry? Here you go. Here we run across a guy that has quite a few Zelda games, and we run across one of my favorites, which I know a lot of you guys probably won't agree with me on this. Zelda's Adventure Link. the second Link game, which was a little different because, or second Zelda game, a little different because it's a side scroller mainly, as opposed to the normal RPG style, the first one. And uh, it received mixed reviews. I actually liked it a lot, and I still think it's one of the better ones, to be honest. But uh, not everyone agrees, so you don't have to agree. It's a little difficult. Gee, it sure is boring around here, 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 here. Hey, but what to? Look what they have. A Styanax. A Styanax. A Styanax. The benefit of going to the swap meet early is that you normally have time to go to two swap meets. It's been a really good day so far and that was only the first swap meet. So now we're headed out to another swap meet in Riverside, California and we normally do good at these places. Alright guys, we're at another swap meet that I've never been to. Um, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere-ish, away from where we live. And uh, it's hot. But right here, me and Ricky are going to see who can throw a rock further first from this line. Ricky, come on over here. Ready? Come up first. Watch this distance. Watch it. Watch it. Okay. I see it. Go, Ricky. Dude, I won by like, what? 50 feet? Yards. You threw a heavier rock. It's Either only, way, guys, it's only like meant. I said, we're at another swap meet. Let's go. <laughs> I got seven up all over my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I just got Vice Project Doom. And the reason I got it is Metal Jesus recommended it and he was talking about it. So I'm gonna try it. It looked actually really amazing on um, his video. So have you ever played this Vice Project Doom? Uh -huh. Metal Jesus was talking about it. A total hidden gem, man. This is Vice Project Doom. Nobody knows about this game, but it's actually really cool. But dear God, that artwork, oh, it's terrible. And for four bucks, that's a deal. And last time Metal Juice re uh, recommended a game, I really liked it, a lot of the Wii games he recommended, so I go by his word. So Jason, thank you. It better be good though, or else I'll cut your hair off. Now, we've all experienced our fair share of resellers that are money hungry and will do anything to sell their games. We didn't understand this guy. He pretty much did everything in his power not to sell us this game. You'll have to see for yourself. That's what I played most. But what you want to do is look on Ricky's Amazon looking at Killer and Sing Gold. Has a, a low of 20. Oh, on this one? Yeah. But you you might want to look, more? see if you can get a 20 purse first, or 25 or 30 before you buy it from me. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Too? How much you want for it? You said? Well, it's 50, yeah. 50. Because I only have one. If I had a double of it, then yeah, I could do the 25 or 20. Gotcha. But I haven't had this game in like 15 years. No, we saw, we saw another one. That's how <sighs> I was like, oh. Yeah. This is when you wonder. Like, I'll yeah. explain later. So I didn't really understand that. He basically yeah. told Ricky that this game is like 20 bucks on Amazon, but said, I'm charging you 50. I didn't really understand what he meant. He's like, go look at other places before you buy from here. And it's selling for 20, but I'm selling for 50. He was like doing everything in like his power like, huh? not to sell it. So I don't know. He, you know, he looked like he looked like Frank from uh, Pat the NES Puck. You don't shave and either you get one or you don't. Something we don't do often on the show is buy toys, but when you see a toy that's video game related, it's kind of hard to say no, especially when it's a good game. How much is this uh, Bucky O'Hare? How can I say no, dude? This is so awesome. You guys want to buy cool, dude? Seven bucks for a Bucky? I mean, oh, seven buck for a bucky. Lucky bucky right there, babe. Babe. Let's call him babe. What the heck? I swear we don't roll that way. <laughs> I don't like it. So we're not going to lie. We just got done watching a Game Chasers episode, and they made a big deal about buying a certain game that we just found. I like the cover. It's a funny cover, but oh, it's awesome. Chubby Cherub. Bandai. The Chubby Cherub alone, for argument, for resale wise, and this is this is Amazon sells the cheapest twenty seven. Yeah. That one's the Chubby Cherub is showing thirty two. Okay. And the and the other one, Wampum, whatever. If you want, dude, I'll, I'll give you all three for twenty five. Yeah. You know, you want to do that? You know? Yeah. Because the bottom line is, for her to go, to, I, I'm I'm trying to make sense of it for her. For her to go and take the time to do all that. Okay. She's not gonna. Do you know, so twenty five is good if you want. So, you know. All I can say is, wow, this reseller knew what he had and was willing to sell it to us for a cheap price just because we were collectors. You don't run across people like that often. And this was a really good weekend for us. Going every other week to the swap meet now makes us that much more excited when we do go. We're super thankful and we just had a ton of fun together hanging out and doing what we do. We couldn't be happier with the way this day turned out. Today's like the nicest day ever and I know we started out in the morning with crap, but Wendy's for lunch. I'm seriously pretty surprised um, we're not like freaking beasts of fat men. Dude, Ricky, there's churros. Ricky, I know, like, but I'm so thirsty right now. It's been like probably three years since I've tried this. And this is a fat skateboard, it's not, so, so it's not possible probably. Kickflip first try if I still have it. Looks like I didn't lose my talent. All right, that was my show off for the day. Oh, hello guys, <laughs> got him right off the bat. Welcome to our end of our video, which I'm like stumbling right now. My name's Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're Retro Liberty, <laughs> the best channel in the world. No, we're not, we're, no, we're, do you think we're good? I, I enjoy watching it. I do, it's funny, I'll like actually watch our episodes <laughs> quite a bit at work. It's because I have fun sucks. <laughs> just kidding. Our cameraman just, just said kidding. he suck. It's no big deal. That is, that's hurtful. <laughs> All right, let's get to what we do. Ricky, this is the end of our video where we talk about what we did at the swap meet with everything you just saw. So let's go straight into our pickups. This is the man to begin the plan. All right, so for my first pickup, I actually went to a thrift store. Random thrift store got a box of stuff. This was in there complete. A power nip, the power glove. How yeah. awesome is that? Yeah, freaking Ricky scored on that. All dude. the hookups, everything. It came with a ton of stuff for 20 bucks, and I was like, and I'm proud yes. of Ricky right now just for, for not doing the it's so bad quote, which everybody in the world does when they get a power glove. So thank you. It's so bad. Good job. Don't do it. Put the power glove down. Go on to the next freaking pickup. Watch the wizard. Yeah, watch the wizard. There you go. That's a good movie. I'd watch it. I love the power glove. California. It's a cool movie, actually. One of my first pickups, Rygar. Pretty fun. I actually stink at this game. I was pretty bad. I think I just need practice, but... It's fun. If you get good fun. at it, it's fun. I know some people don't like it. I think Chris Roberts, who we've talked about before on our Facebook, uh, I mentioned what game you regret buying, and I think he said this. So, screw you, Chris Roberts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I do like that game a lot. It's an awesome weapon. It's like a fireball you throw and like... It's like it a spinning yeah, fireball. I don't know what it it's is. It's cool. I like it. Like you said, I think you have to be good at it. 
yeah. to, to like it. You gotta learn the game. Yes, learn the game, not be good. I'm not good. And then for my other one, I actually got this one the next day after I didn't go with Aaron. Uh, Battletoads, considered one of the hardest games on the NES. Yeah, which it is hard, but I wouldn't say it's as hard as on the NES, but it, it's definitely hard. And you guys probably know about it, beat em up. It was in our top five NES beat em ups. I don't know why it is, but the way your fist, your foot, or your head gets big, along with the sound effects, just warms my sick, cynical heart. Yeah. Very good game. Multiplayer. Very fun. Zits, Pimple, and Rash is the name of the players. Glad Which I got is it. So vile. Why did they do that? Zits, Pimple, yeah, and Rash. Yeah, so gross. Uh, I also got Metal Gear. I didn't have it for some random reason. Mm -hmm. I have all of them, but this one. Yeah. So, add it to the collection. Yeah, and I think I remember when I was a kid playing, it was weird because he smokes, like, in the first scene, and I was like, whoa, like, that's, I think that's, like, the first time I ever saw that in, like, a video game that I was playing as a kid, like, this guy's smoking. If Nintendo taught me one thing, it's to always smoke. <sighs> Is good. I remember when I first played, I didn't understand the first part, like trying to sneak around yeah, the first guy. Yeah. I was like, yep, the first part as a kid too was like, what? This, is, this is not a running gun, this isn't fun, but yeah, now we all know Metal fun. Gear. I'm gonna call it Metal Storm. I wish, yeah, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and then this is probably one of the coolest games we got Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Yeah, and he did get a good deal on it, as you guys saw. We got a package deal for it up. Wampum, that game, and Chubby Cherub for 25 bucks. So <laughs> that's a deal, beautiful, that's a really good deal. Awesome guy that sold it to us. Just math. <laughs> games, yeah, games <laughs> sucks like all heck. So two plus two equals four. This is so much fun. <laughs> but hey, it's a it's a good game. It's a pretty not rare but valuable ish. Yeah, it's it's good to get. Yeah, you got a good deal. Okay, we'll go straight into Mimi Me stuff. Golden Axe Two, which is one of the better beat 'em ups on the Genesis. Um. Maybe even one of the better beat em ups ever. The Golden Axe series are like highly ranked up there, especially in the Sega world. So they are pretty fun. Yeah, they're very awesome. And uh, like I showed before, the cover art is a thing of beauty. And um, beauty. something that I don't think many people know about is a game named Tin Star. It's um, a shooter game, but like a what would you call it? View first person view, kind of like is FPS. It? But you can't see your gun. But it's very like animated, almost like Sunset Riders, but robots, but very cartoony. It's fun. I only played it for like maybe what 30 minutes. Yeah. But it was pretty fun. I, I figured by the cover it might be kind of goofy, but it was better than I thought. I wouldn't say great, but I got it for like what four bucks or something. I think three, three bucks. Yeah. So I got this because of the recommendation from Metal Jesus. Metal Jesus. Vice Project Doom, which is actually a lot of different things. It's a side scroller, a platformer, you're racing cars, and it's freaking awesome. I was playing it the other day by myself, and the cover art I know is weird. Metal Jesus talked about that in his video. Metal Jesus. That's awesome right there, though. Yeah, shoot to thrill. Is that an ACDC song? I think it is. I think is. it is. I would play it, but copyright won't allow that stuff, so I ain't doing it. So great game. Thank you, Metal Jesus, for the recommendation. Um, anybody else too? I'd pick it up, and it's cheap. So pick it up. Yeah, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Go. Wampum. A very. I don't know. I don't hear many people talk about it, but in my opinion, underrated. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it's a platformer yeah. with cool cartoony graphics, but you're an Indian and you have a little knife, but it gets longer. Or what do you call those when the Indians have the a teepee? No, what are those things? The axe. I'm asking the cameraman back spear? there. A spear. Ha! See, that's why I bring Chris. A around. spear. So yeah, a spear, and it gets bigger with the power ups and stuff. So very cool game. And the last thing I got, not really, because I got more stuff. I just don't like to show it all because it takes too long to edit. We can. Um, the last thing I got, which is uh, my prize for the week, Chubby Cherub, which we were watching, funnily enough, the Game Chasers episode the night before, and they got this, and uh, we're making kind of a big deal about it, and uh, it's funny that we saw it the next day. <laughs> California 1, Texas 0. I think we got it, Jay. I think Jay got it. So, mm -hmm. awesome I game. This time. Oh, I don't know. I don't oh, yeah, Jay got it before. Yes. Yeah, Jay got it the first time around. <laughs> it's a cool game. It's a platformer. Very weird. You're Cupid. You shoot arrows of love. I'm kind of sick of this stupid Mario being in the back of every freaking video. It's pretty fun. I'll give it a, let's see, out of a 10, I'll give it a 7.5. 7.5. So, That's pretty good. Pretty good game. Hey, that's it. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I don't always mention those as much as I should. Go on them. We're stupid on them. Trust me. As stupid as we are here, we're even more stupid on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> Dude, how long are you going to make me laugh? I said for five seconds. Delete that. That was so long. Facebook, you guys are all super involved. That's where you guys all seem to mainly go. So awesome people. Thank you. Like button. The reason we like the like button, as many of you guys know, is A, it makes us feel good. 
And B, something I didn't really think about before is but more people see it. When you guys click like, oh. more people see it. So it helps us get more exposure, nice. you know, for the time that we spend doing this. And um, So we thanks do, for doing it. Actually, yeah, you thanks guys, for doing it. A lot of you guys do a it. A ton of you guys do yeah. it. And thank you, and we appreciate it. And we appreciate the 5,000, which you guys already saw the video. If you didn't check it out, I already put it out. So with that said, have a good weekend or a week. What is it? It's Sunday or Saturday night. Depends where you live. Sadison. Sadison. So that's it. Have a good day. And we will see you guys next week for another video. Don't forget to subscribe because we will be here next week. No matter what, I bet Ricky's life on it. Goodbye. Bye, my life. This stuff fell. I love it. I mean, it's so much better. I got so nervous, Ricky. I thought the whole shelf was gonna come tumbling down. I was like, ah! I was actually cowering in fear when I heard that go down. I was like, oh crap, the whole game shelf is coming down. <laughs> Ow! This got me good. I think my leg's bleeding. Thank you, Ricky. It is. Look at, it. look at this. I'll put that in there and I'll film. Oh, dude, that's kind of deep. Actually, pretty deep. That's when you take your skits way too seriously. <laughs> I really meant to hurt him. <laughs> I know, he probably did. He probably really is pissed about the slaps. Previously on the NES Pursuit. Ricky, do you like this game at all? It's alright. <laughs> Got him again! I'm Aaron. And I'm John. And, and we're, we're Retro, Retro Liberty. Liberty. Make your freaking Instagram and sign into it every day and keep up with the people. Okay? I don't want to. You need to! I don't want to! You're freaking like stuck in 1950. I know, I love it. You got a smartphone like two months ago. You got the internet like last year. You don't have a Facebook. You don't have a Twitter. <laughs> You're making an Instagram. That is pretty funny. Freaking old man. I am old school. So Ricky and I played video games last night for about three hours till about 1 a.m. So we're pretty tired. But regardless, we wake up at 5.30 anyways and head to a local swap meet. It's not one we usually do that good at. So let's see if we can turn our luck around today. Hey. What's up, people? Good morning. We are at another swap meet. We're excited today. It's 7 a.m. The swap meet did just open. We just had some Del Taco. Ricky, what are you going to find today? Well, I'm guessing my third Demon's Crest for sure. I almost slapped him this early in the morning, but it's too early. I want to find anything NES. I don't know, maybe Mighty Final Fight. We were talking about that. That's hard uh, to find, though. But. We're going to find that. So, all right, let's go. Goodbye. How much for the PS2? PS2, um, 
It's the same thing. It's okay, modded. It, okay, okay, yeah, just curious. Yeah, it's modded. So as we walk into the swap meet, one of the first things we see is a guy who has a lot of random mods. It's something we don't really see very often and don't really know how to price this kind of stuff. So it kind of makes it hard to settle on offers when you don't know anything about it. That's is condition. How much for this one? Five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah. And there's a two controllers there, I think. I'll buy that if you don't, Ricky. Mega Drive, let me show that. There's another, um, there's another one there. It's the Mega Drive. Genesis. Yeah, that's nice Genesis. For all you lads out there, British blokes. You getting it? You can get it, you can get it. Stupid. You idiot. Alright, I'll take it. Five bucks? Yeah. Cool. This one, I'll um, probably give you one of the coins. No, you okay. get it. You sure? Thank you. Sweet. <laughs> I already have one. I actually already have two. Another Genesis with two controllers, which is kind of funny because normally I don't see that many Genesises and it's been like our first two booths. Today's Genesis day. Today's Genesis day, so hopefully we find a Musha or something like that. That'd be a long shot. But I think Ape Eric has Musha. Eric, if you're watching, do you have Musha? I think you do. I tried to put my head in my... Star Fox Assault. No manual, but the game looks good. Riggy, ask him how much. Yeah, it was like that, but... She says it's much better. Five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah, but she's much better. Five bucks? She had a lot of I would buy that. Five bucks, right? We've only been here for about 10 minutes at this point, and the morning is already treating us pretty well. And then Ricky stumbles on a gaming system that I have personally never seen out in the wild. <laughs> See an Xbox? Yeah. How much are the systems, like the Xbox or this one? How much are this one? Uh, for this I want 25. For which one? Yeah. You want this one? What? 25. 25? Do you have the controllers or anything? So as you may have noticed, we asked about two systems, even though we only really cared about one of them. It's always a good idea to kind of downplay the one system and act like you're not too excited about it. But Ricky ran upon. I think it's the Japanese version of uh, Sega Saturn. Sí, es no es el regular. Ricky's getting his bean burrito on. Si lo compro 20, a tira ese. Con él. Que si le das 20 a los dos, se controla y nunca que así. Sí. Okay. Ricky, you the verdict? C. 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 Simone. Ricky is getting it. 20 bucks. He ended up getting a controller with it, a joystick type. So, I'd say uh, good work because we don't run across them. That's the first I've ever seen it out in the wild. So, good job, Ricky. <laughs> thing is so sweet. It's actually a rare uh, 1965 uh, Coca-Cola vending machine. They're really hard to find these days. Uh, I'm just kidding. Oh, know. dude, I thought you were being serious. I was all into it. When you go game hunting at the same places a lot, you expect to see the same people all the time. But today, we saw somebody different who had a lot of good games. We figured that he'd be selling them for like $15 to $20 each, but that wasn't the case. This is actually one of the games I used to play when I was a kid a lot. Actually, both of them. Fatal Fury 2 and Street Fighter 2 Turbo. A lot of extra, yeah. A lot of extra pepper on it. Lots of pepper or, and, or cool ranch. <laughs> gross! I actually just got grossed out. Resident Evil residue, Ugh. the Nemesis, and Resident Evil Two. Actually, I was looking for this one. How much are the games? Do you work oh, here? I don't work okay. Which one? The game five dollars. Games $5 each? So you guys may know by now, we give you guys the advice quite often of talking to resellers, even if you don't like them. And thank God we talked to this guy. He invited us to the back of his semi-truck to all of his stuff before he got to price this stuff and even check what the games are. Oh man, we're excited. Will you give us a deal if we buy more of, of like five or something? Oh, uh, five. Oh, you can take this one if you give me a camera. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> you don't give up. This is a swap, it becomes swap. That, uh, we were just talking about that. No one brings anything to swap anymore. Yeah, I can't. Uh, it's a swap me. Don't we get a swap stuff? Yeah, we just swap. Oh, I previously rented. I don't like that logo on it. Thank you. 
Might be able to take it off. Try a blowtorch. Blowtorches are capable of giving off much more heat than a hair dryer. Now gently blow the flame directly onto the sticker, and the sticker should just melt right off. So I got some good games right here. Resident Evil Zero, Neo Contra, Resident Evil Code Veronica, and Lone in the Dark. All complete, all good. He wants five each. Any deal if I take four? I said that means... Come on, some sort of deal. It's a 20, bro. It's cheap. I know. <laughs> Cheap. That's alright. It's I won't cheap. Argue. He's just really cheap. I'm just extra cheap. That guy was cool and good deals. All like good PlayStation 2 games and PlayStation games for five bucks each. He didn't care if they were Final Fantasy. He didn't care if they were Resident Evil games. He was cool. Just straight up five bucks, and he let us go to his truck and go through his stuff. Oh, that was cool. We that got cool. Good, I got Neo Contra. great condition so he was cool there was a, a lot more that I actually want but I don't want to spend all my money yet so we might be going back there Maybe. I already spent all my I probably have to have the ATM soon more money more money more power so if there's one system we never see any games for that would be the Jaguar and we also found box Game Gear games which we never see so like I said we don't know anything about the Jaguar so it's really hard to decipher prices with this guy I'm guessing they were a good deal. So this guy has a lot of good stuff. I'm looking behind Ricky too. There's like a bunch of Atari stuff in the box. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty good looking. But on top of that, I never, ever. I mean, I don't collect for Game Gear at all, but I never see Game Gear stuff in the box like this, especially in a condition like this. You just don't see it. Mm -mm. Cyborg Justice, Ultra Beast, Grand Theft Auto, and a Game Boy. This is good stuff. I mean, I'm guessing 10 bucks is around the cost. I mean, I can't say for sure because I don't know. After all that discussion, we ended up not getting any Jaguar or Game Gear stuff. And I'll be honest with you guys, I hate looking at price charting while I'm out in the wild. It makes me feel like I'm not really a collector and I should be collecting stuff I know about anyway. Yeah. Need some cleaning, but it'll work. But for 50 cents, this yeah. guy's giving us 50 cents. Can't beat that, right? Seriously. There you go. Hey, thanks, Anything dude. Anything here, 50 cents. Uh oh! Man. Got any more games? <laughs> Check this out, man. Murder weapon, murder weapon, murder weapon, murder weapon. Oh, hey! <laughs> Never know when you need to murder somebody. <laughs> Ricky Whoa. pisses me off too much. Boombox! <laughs> one serious hunchback on this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. I said, this is a hunchback of Notre Dame, but that's pretty bad right there. That guy's on death's door. I'm not a man! <laughs> 50 cents for this? What's that? Oh, that? Dollar. Let me see that mic, Chris. What? Shut that mic off. Straight up like VHS tape yeah. status? Yeah, it's, I think it's 280p. <laughs> it probably is. Probably 180p. Pretty sweet. I miss the days of VHS. We'll think about it. And we just picked this Let up. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think. We just got a camera bag for a buck. And it's dirty, but it's actually in really good condition. So, how do you feel about that, Chris? That's going to be yeah, your swag. Nice. In addition to my backpack? No, you don't have to wear the backpack. Oh. One of us will rock a backpack. Yeah. Look at you, dude. Yeah, I think it's good. I know everything. Well, this is gonna look beautiful when I'm done with it. When I show you guys on the pickups, Chris is, Chris is, uh, Chris. I don't know if Chris is believing me that I'll fix it, but it looks like it's disgusting. pepper. What the? Is that rat poop? Ew, dude. <laughs> is it really? I don't know what it is, dude. I think it's Cool Ranch hands all over it. I thought you said a Cool Ranch ham. <laughs> that thing looks disgusting. It really is like big plate. I just looked. I just looked at the thing. Look, I'm gonna have to clean everything. Oh, I have to the, take the it apart. Pins too. The pins are like full Ooh. of like. Try to get. See if Chris can get in there. Let him hold it. Just hold it still. As can you get in there? Get in that. Yeah. That is disgusting. All right. That is peppercorn pins. I'm right gonna there. try to clean this and play it. That'll maybe maybe if Ricky cleans it by the time we film this pickup, then we'll put it in there. See if it works. Us playing it and trying it. And if you don't see it in there, that means we didn't get it to work. So. Despite having a really good day there at the swap meet that we never do good at, especially with finding that Mega Drive and that Japanese Saturn, we headed over to a Goodwill after and there's nothing to show. It sucked. Somehow we ended up buying some stupid CDs we don't even want or don't even listen to. But the day's been great overall, so we're thankful. And now it's time to show you guys our pickups. Oh man, you're excited, aren't you? <laughs> Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good night, good evening, Tully Ho. And if I don't see you later, good evening, good, what's that from? Fail already, Ricky. I'm back. Hi, Marin. I'm Ricky. And we're Retro Liberty. 
And this is the part of our video where we show you guys our pickups in a more detailed way. And let's let Ricky start as usual. I got the Sega Saturn Japanese version. Yeah, that's awesome. But inside was X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Which is awesome. Awesome. And you got the whole thing for 20 bucks. Came with this sweet controller. Yeah, that's cool. We don't, we never, we, first time we've seen them out there. And we've been doing this for a while and first time we've ever seen the Japanese one, so. It didn't come with the wires, but I'll get them eventually. Well, yeah, we don't see it, so it was worth getting. Definitely. Way worth Good getting. Good job, Ricky. Thank you. And for my other, <laughs> for my other pickup, Star Fox Assault, which is cool, really fun. It's actually a lot like the N64 one. Yeah, I think there's kind of a lot of haters on it, but I don't get it because I think I it's like awesome. It. I think it's the other one, Adventures, that gets all the hate. Does it? Does this, this one is pretty fun? Does this one have cool quotes like the Super uh, 64 one? Dude, no one has quotes like the 64 one. My Emperor, I failed you. Okay, yeah, 64 wins quotes of all time. And then I already got this game, but I didn't have it for Dreamcast. Piece <laughs> of Arcadia. Yeah, that's for the awesome. Dreamcast. I know Greg from Arcade Impossible was last time. He's like, I've been looking for that, and now we got both. Bo. Ricky has both, so. So, Sorry, Ricky. Greg. Yeah, dog. Woo! Alright, what else, Ricky? This one I got from our buddy Mike Burt a while back. A while back, actually. I hadn't, just hadn't shown it. Complete in box, it's got everything in it. Yeah, tell me how much you paid for that, too. Like two bucks. Like two bucks. Dude, our buddy Mike hooked us up. <laughs> Thanks, um, Mike. <laughs> so scared. Hello. <laughs> yeah, like two bucks for a freaking Game Genie. NES one, and that is pretty much needed to be a lot of games in the NES, because NES don't mess around. NES hard. Yeah, all you kids, if you're watching, probably not if you're not retro, but if you don't know anything about retro, they didn't come easy back in the day. Get one of these. Yeah. This is Game Genie, Broke Woo, the awesome video game enhancer for your Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah, I think I bought a Contra 3 off Mike, and I uh, it was complete in box, so I traded it with our buddy Sean. Traded for Mega Man 6. Easiest way to get a Mega Man 6, you combine two and four together. That thing is Mega Man sexy. Cause that is yeah. like, <laughs> like mint condition. I didn't want to open it, but it still has all the plastic. It's like whoever opened it like perfectly yeah. like did like the slice slicerone on top. And what? Mega Man 6, that's the one where he first was red, right? Where um he mixed with Rush, I think. I think it's where yeah, he combines where he, with he Rush. Yeah, like flies and uh... Yeah. Is that Metal Metal Man? No, Metal Man's Mega Man. No, Knight. Night I don't Man. remember. There's We play Mega Man's too much to I get him confused. so <laughs> confused with it's like Flower Man and Clown Man and everything But else. awesome, honestly. Yeah, very cool. Sean, thank you again. Thank you. And that's it for Ricky. And now my turn, I will start out with Neo Contra, which is really cool. Um, it's not a typical side-scrolling Contra. It's more kind of like isometric. Kind of reminds me of Smash TV in a way. But it's really cool. I know when you first have got it, it's kind of like, a, I think it's, uh, there's another Contra right before it that was kind of like this too. And it kind of, people had mixed feelings on it. Yeah. So, But I do like it. I know it's not the typical run and gun like we all like, but it's awesome. But it's Contra. Yeah, it's Contra Don't and it's awesome. Um, I'll show these together just because Resident Evil Code Veronica X and Resident Evil Zero. Which Resident are Evil good. Resident Evil good, man. Yeah. I still think Resident Evil 1, like one of the scariest things ever was when that scene in the beginning when that zombie's eating and he just turns around and slow motion. And right at you. Oh, dude, as a kid, that was like... Holy crap! Yeah, that's a freaking good game. So, two good uh, games right here. They're both amazing. If you guys don't know Resident Evil, kind of doubt you don't. So, it's not going to explain it too much. They're great. And then, uh, kind of keeping on the same track, Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, which I know the first Alone in the Dark was on MS-DOS, which was really polygony and really, really scary and groundbreaking. I think this is kind of like the follow-up to that, and if my brain serves me correctly, you're like a guy that you're in an airplane in the beginning, and it gets attacked by a monster, and then you land on an island, and then you go from there. I remember playing that game, but eventually I like got stuck. I, I remember you told me that. I like, ran out of bullets. That's like one of the first I things. I couldn't you, kill anybody. That's one of the first things you told me when I met you, because I remember this was on your yeah, counter, and you were like, oh, I got stuck on it. I couldn't beat it. But yeah, this game, and it puts you alone in the dark, which, <laughs> think about it, that's scary in itself, being alone in the dark. Unless you're with Ricky. Oh. And then, I got Mario Bros for five bucks, but it's the uh, original Mario Bros. And it's cool, it's cool to have. Yeah, and honestly. if you guys don't know, it's not the side scroller, it's basically a platformer. It's the arcade, you know the little arcade when they You're just they one both. screen, jump up and down, hit the pow, boom, boom, pow. You hit and knock the turtles and crabs and all that, and Mario gets crabs. Oh no! So, it's cool. The last thing I got, a Mega Drive! Nice. I've been wanting one of these just because I don't have one. And the re what it is, if you guys don't know, I showed it in the video, but it's the non-American, you know, like European and everywhere else it was released. 
And it's the same thing as a Genesis, 16-bit. But it's mega. Goodness, but it's mega. It has... <laughs> so, really cool. Awesome. I was, I was really happy to find this. Guy gets me for five bucks with two controllers. That was, hey, honestly a good deal. Two controllers for five bucks is worth it. So to get the Mega Drive with it, shh. What's up with these stupid imports? Wait, I'm Mexican. Sweet. <laughs> Just kidding, I didn't really throw it. I don't know if it looked like it in the video. Hey, that's it. That was sweet and short. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful boy. Like the videos, guys. Keep liking them. You guys did awesome. Dude, the last NES Pursuit video is like almost at 700 likes. Dude. That's insane, you guys. Dang. The views are like, what, 4,500 and you get 700 likes out of that? I know channels that get videos that have like 50,000 views and get like 100 likes, so you guys are awesome. Yeah, Thank you. Seriously. You guys, we appreciate it. We bow to you guys as always. <laughs> chop, chop. I just chopped all you guys up. And comment, you're talking to Ricky mainly. I'm at editing 24-7. He and is. Subscribe, because we are here every week, as always, right, Ricky? Yeah. And you should check out Aaron's Instagram, because it's pretty funny. Ricky has an Instagram too, and Chris does. Uh, Ricky Retro Liberty and Chris Retro Liberty. So check them out on Instagram. We do some funny things. I do some really stupid things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Facebook and all that. So you guys are funny. We have big old conversations with you guys, as I say, every time. And um, that's it. Right, Ricky? I guess so. So we'll see you guys next week. Oh, Telly. Oh, what? Ricky has something. I also bought two games, but I forgot to show them. What was it? Fatal Fury 2 and Street Fighter Turbo. You know what? It's in the video, so it doesn't even matter. Thank you. So you can cut this out. Nah, I might put it in. So, I might put it in. Oh! <laughs> okay, it's time to go. Ricky and I have been blabbing, and I probably edited out half the stuff we just said because we got kind of weird. So, tally ho, amigos, and goodbye. Language. He clicked. He clicked Espanol. That's jacked up, Ricky. This is America. Just pop him in. Someone asked him a question about like something about Mexico on a podcast we're gonna be on, and Ricky had no idea like about Mexican independence. So. I told you I'm not Mexican. It's a fraud. Discovering a lot of hidden gems lately. Yeah, maybe we should send him Metal Jesus. We should. Hey, what you doing? Hey, I'm just working on uh, another hidden gems video, and cool. uh, yeah, Aaron and Ricky from uh, Retro Liberty sent me potential box of hidden gems here. Nice. I know, kind of cool, huh? Yeah, so, really fun. I'm, I'm gonna dig into it. Okay, cool. I'm. DMP's upstairs trying to shave the back, you know, ooh, trying to reach places, ooh, so ooh, I'm gonna okay. help him out. So. All right, well, good luck with that. Thank you, dude. <laughs> can't right. unsee this. Let's dig in. Teletubbies? Well, you know, the purple one's kind of cute. All right, let's give it a shot. What else is in here? Dead or Alive Paradise for the PSP. Sure. Oh, man. Here's my hand. What is this? What else is in there? Oh uh, yeah, now we're talking Barbie the Island Princess. Oh yeah. Banana smoothie for me. Civilization? What are you doing? I thought you said these were good games. You know, it's, it's Barbie. I mean, it's Barbie. What the hell is wrong with you, man? I... Hey! Barbie's pretty! <laughs> Damn you, Retro Liberty! Damn you! Dude. I wonder if Metal Jesus was pissed about those games. Who cares, dude? He's just Metal Jesus. It's not like he's real Jesus.
So what was going to be just a usual Wednesday night turned into a game hunting night along with a little bit of pizza parlor and arcades with Games 31. We got a phone call about a week ago saying he's going to be in the area again. So we know we got to take advantage of the time we can get with him and hang out. And what's better than a little pre-game hunting by eating some pizza and playing some games in the arcades? If they had Robotron, I think we'd be here all the time. Yeah, me and Ricky, I've been really actually wanting to buy one. The yeah, Robotron? Yeah. The cheapest yeah. one I've seen is 600 bucks. I was talking to Greg from Arcade Impossible. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said that that's uh, kind of the higher end for one, but he's like, you know, if you can find one for four. Let Tron arcade, that'd be sweet. That'd be oh, sick. dude, that Black was light. so much fun. <laughs> yeah. oh. that'd be so so we arrive here at Fat Collectibles, and Ricky and I have been here quite often and we go here all the time, but John's never been and it really seems like a place he'd like, so we decided if we're going to take him to a local spot, why not take him to one that has toys and video games, because we know John's really into both. They have Sawyer from Lost, and they also have Locke. Which uh, was like my well, like he was like my favorite character until like the last season or two. I don't know. Did you guys watch Lost? Let me know if you did, because I was like sure. hardcore in the Lost for a while. Ricky, I got really? Lost. He got Lost and Lost. I, I think I understood it honestly the whole way through, and I made it to the end. So awesome! These cool Thundercats series. though. Thundercat. Thunder. Thundercats. 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 Thundercats rock. Did you Dude. ever watch Lost? No, I got lost watching the first That's what he just said. <laughs> I'm being sick and tired of becoming a hipster douchebag online by you guys. Fabio. Fabio. I can't believe it's not Bozo. Did you know? I can't believe it's not Bozo. That on a Ghost Rider and not not Sperry from around here, he was on it and a he a bird ran into his nose and broke his nose. Oh really? Yeah. Right. He's super yeah. hard. Yeah. So we're walking around and John's eyes go straight to these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards, the vintage ones, and John gets a pretty bright idea. Well, in his mind it was a good idea. If I buy you an old pack of playing cards, would you use the gum on the camera? It's a lot of these classic uh, cards. Our pack with like gum. And these are probably 20 years old, so we're gonna, we're gonna buy one for our parents so we can uh, experience on the camera and see what it tastes like. They're awful. It's awful. It's awful. I'm kind of nervous. John, John said when he told the guy we're getting it, the guy like looked at him serious and said, "Just don't eat the gum." What if we get all sick? We won't, huh? Sugar, sugar, and processed stuff that's 20 years old. Oh, yeah. uh, at least you never know. Oh well, whatever. Who cares? One, two, two three. three. Oh. I almost broke my tooth. So if you guys watch our show, you'll notice that we're hanging out with John a lot lately and we're becoming really good friends with them and it's something we never imagined happening. But it is and we're super thankful and enjoy his friendship. But now it's time to go to a swap meet and some flea markets, which we do every weekend and we're gonna get some fast food as we also do every weekend. And to be honest, we should probably cut back on. Oh well, it's not like we're a bunch of savage animal beasts. <laughs> Yes! 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 Watch this. <laughs> Honestly, I, I ruined my food. What'd you guys do? Why are you guys laughing? You guys did something to my food. What am I sitting at? What'd you guys do? You better not ruin my Dr. Pepper. What'd you guys do? Just drink it. Are you serious? Now I can't even enjoy it. Just drink it, dude. And there's something wrong with my pee in you, dude. What? <laughs> pee in me? <laughs> <laughs> I meant pee on. I meant pee on you, not pee in you. I'm Aaron, and I'm Ricky, and we're in Riverside, and we're being kind of hidden right now. There's security like all around, and for some reason they're staring at us. We were gonna have a rock throwing contest again, but we're not gonna do it because they're staring at us, and uh, we don't know if they want us to film, so. Let's go, we're gonna sneak our way in. Back to Riverside. Hand play! They got Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City. It's 
it's like super stupid. You're Michael Jordan, but you're like fighting levels that have nothing to do with basketball, and your weapon is you chuck basketball. your basketball at people. I think I played that one. It's it like has it's like seems promising because the graphics are okay, but it's pretty sucky. Ooh, Ricky. Like Do you know what this one is? Yeah, that one's for 30 dollars. 30? Oh, okay. I'm missing this one for the GameCube. Did you know that the, um, I think this is Buster Douglas, right? The Sega Master System version of this game, Buster yeah. Douglas, is actually the most rare game. I think, like, in the top one or two most rare games on the Genesis, or on the Sega Master System. Which I didn't know was a real thing, because that sounds like it wouldn't be true, because it's a sports game. But yeah, and I, there's a guy on YouTube, Play Lives, who uh, just got it like a few months ago. So freaking awesome for him. He got it, got it at a Goodwill. So to get that done and accomplished, it's a big deal. So today we haven't found anything at all, and that's kind of bumming us out because we've been looking all day. And to be honest, something else that sucks is we're getting asked not to film at all, which never happens. We have no idea what's going on today, but almost every other booth is telling us not to film, along with security. But at least we met a subscriber in the parking lot, and he was a really cool dude, and we always love meeting people who watch the show because we have something to talk about with all of them. Well, video games. There is so much poop in that toilet. I'm dude. talking like the toilet's like this deep, and there's probably this much room that's not poop. And as I was peeing, like poop little particles are flying up. Why don't you it use the urinal? Disgusting. There's a urinal? So we decided to test our luck out by going to a different spot, but first we're going to see if we can hit up NES Complex to go game hunting with us. What do you think his message sounds like? Hi, this is Chris Complex. Hi, I love video games. This is Chris. Leave a message. I'll call you back soon. So Thank professional. You. Wow, Chris. Uh, Chris, this is Retro Liberty. Whoa! Whoa! That's all by. <laughs> Chris. Yeah. How has it been today with all the people like telling us not to film and security watching us and people pounding us about filming? Yeah, it's been weird today. It's been off. It's been an off day. Everyone seems on high alert for some reason or something. But uh, yeah, we just had some guy that we go to every time. You guys have bought a lot of games from him, I think, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah, he was like our friend and we just, right when we walk up, he's like, oh yeah, you know, we always let you film and you never buy anything. Hey guys, let me tell you something. I don't really give a chance so many times to take a picture of my stuff. Which is annoying too because we do buy stuff from him. It's on footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I buy a ton of stuff. Right? He's kind of not on the good list right now. I know. We're pretty pissed actually. I'm kind of bummed because he was kind of our friend. Anyway, yeah. So, we'll see. Was is right. Just kidding. If you guys don't know by now, Nintendo 64 controllers, and mainly the colored ones, are getting really expensive. A lot of people are trying to sell them for like 20 to 30 dollars now, so if you can grab them for around 5 to 10 bucks, I would definitely say grab it. How much is the blue? 5 dollars. Ricky is... It's not Killer. How much? 5. You guys got a 5 on Kabo? She doesn't have change. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll take that controller. Just kidding. Okay, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. That's a good deal. Five bucks for that? People are selling those now for like 20 bucks. People are, I think they're getting like really popular. So, awesome, Ricky. I'll pay you back here. Controller. What is it called? Atomic blue? Ice blue, right? I think it's... Everyone's yelling right now that's watching because they all know. I don't know that. What is it? Atomic purple? So I'll say, I'll say, ice blue? I'll say ice blue. It's atomic purple, ice blue, and Ricky red. It's getting really hot and we're getting kind of tired at this point. But hey, look at this. Somebody with a lot of good stuff and he happens to be a subscriber of the show. Awesome. Normally, like we said, everybody we meet is really awesome and really usually willing to work with us. Shinobi in box. This is sick. I think I like the Master System version better than the original Nintendo one, but this is the one I played first, and it's sick to have box. It's a Tengen game, so it's black. Is it, it Tengen or Tengen? I don't know. I call it Tengen. Do you call it Tengen or Tengen? I think it's Gen. Oh, really? I think so. Uh, I don't. I always don't know what I call it. I just change it every time. I'm like, whatever. Whatever I feel. 
so it looks like at the end of the day, good thing we didn't give up hope and just walk out because that last place we went to is where we got most of our stuff for the day. It's much easier to drive home when you know you got stuff. There's nothing worse than leaving the flea market hot and sweaty and empty handed. But today, that wasn't the case. So this one's gonna be Mrs. Cricket, or Cricket, however she says it. But um, she just found our channel recently and like been diving through all of our videos and commenting and being super rad. So this is gonna be her, no offense, this is a great looking go. Hey guys, I am Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're Retro Liberty. First off, we want to say, hey, thank you to Metal Jesus Rocks. Thanks, man. If you guys don't know Metal Jesus, which he's a very popular channel, so you probably do. Yeah. He is a great YouTuber, been around for a while, and he's a very big inspiration of a lot of people in the gaming world. So thank you for that intro, and he does really cool Hidden Gems video, guys. Videos. Oh, such good ones. Yeah, he does a lot of different videos, but I really enjoy his Hidden Gems videos. He, yeah. Uh, a lot of the Wii games I've gotten, and Nintendo games have you gotten, even of our show. I've the Shadow it. game? Yeah, dude. That was good. Yeah, uh, Lost in Shadow, I think, on the Wii. That was great. Boy and his blob on the Wii. All because of Metal Jesus. So thank you, Metal Jesus. You. <laughs> Okay, let's get straight into our pickups of what we got. I'm gonna go first this week for a reason that we'll mention Yay. that you'll know why later. For me, the first thing I got is Evolution the World of Sacred Device. Sorry, I haven't played it. But um, it's a Dreamcast RPG. I was looking up about it and I know, I realized that the graphics are kind of cartoony and something else. People said it's a good game, but a lot of people were saying that the story might be a little too drawn out. So I haven't played it, but if you guys have, let me know, because I'm curious. I very much, as you guys know, like cartoony graphics in games, so we'll see how this awesome, one does. Though. Yeah. Then I got Rugrats on the PlayStation, Black Label. I hate this game. <laughs> it's a 3D world, but it's like super polygony. I know polygony isn't too bad, but in this game it's bad. But hey, I got it for a buck. The guy thought it was a CD, so I got him. Yeah. Then I got this for a quarter from a girl who's supposed to call me with like all of her games. She said she'll sell me everything for a quarter. This is all she had and I asked her for a number and she said okay. So, Gex, enter the gecko for the PlayStation. For a quarter you can't go wrong. It's a very oh, yeah. cool game, kind of James Bondy, but as a gecko. I heard this game is a lot like James Bond. I think he does a lot of like smarmy remarks in the game. Yeah, he does. Like really punny jokes, you know. Whips his tail. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> It's tail time. It looks like a Game Pro gave it pretty much 5.0s all the way across, so good game. Five it's, points. It's been a while for me. This is really cool. That's man. awesome. It's a Dreamcast. It's a pink controller. This matches perfect with my pink pants. It says Millennium 2000 on it, and it's all written in Japanese, and I didn't know too much about it, so I asked on Twitter, and a lot of you guys answered um, a lot of different answers, so I'm still not too clear, but I guess it came in a few different colors, and I think they run for like 30 to 40 bucks. A couple of Couple people, a couple people were saying, but the guy that sold it to me sold it to me for five bucks. He's a guy who watches the show, so thank you very much for selling this to me for oh, yeah, five thanks, bucks. Man. I haven't even opened it yet. I will open it because I want to test it out and see how it feels. But awesome for five bucks, especially Dreamcast, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. I love Dreamcast. Yeah. Hey, the last thing I'm going to show for you guys is um, Asterix and the Great Rescue, which is a Gen Genesis side-scrolling platformer. Have you played it? A little bit. It's, yeah. It was you played it. Yeah. yeah. It's really pretty fun. It's super cartoonish, as you guys know I love. And I think it takes place like in the Caesar days and you're taking over like the Romans and stuff and beating up all the Romans. <laughs> You're a guy named Asterix who has like a wings looking thing, kind of like the P in Mario on your head with your big heavy barrel chested buddy. I think you're going to destroy Caesar. I, I really think that's the point. I might be wrong. That's all for me. Ricky's turn. I think I'm only sure one of the swap me things. So from the same guy who sold Aaron the controller, I got the Super Metroid box and manual. Dude, I have a Super Metroid case too. Yeah, but you made yours. My official Nintendo license. Super clean, and if you guys don't know Super Metroid, I love Super Metroid. What are you doing here? Because it, Super Metroid is is you need to stop the video. I will grant you a stop the video, turn it off, and go play Super Metroid. It's if you so good. It's one of the most dark, eerie, wandering around. The beginning title. Oh, that music in the beginning. I've talked about it before, but that music in the beginning is to me some of the most like eerie. Draws you in. You feel so alone the second it starts. <laughs> Freaking Super Metroid. Go play it now. Man. Next, I'll go with Mario Party 2. Did, Did someone, someone say Mario Party again? again?
Yeah? So, what were you expecting? Something? What? I got it with this N64 and like five other games for 15 bucks. I was like, Psh, that's like 15 bucks right yes. there alone. So, awesome game too. Very fun. Very fun. And then from another guy on Craigslist, I bought a ton of games, but I'm only showing this one since it was a ton of games for yeah. 30, what, 30? Yeah. I think I got like 15 good games, but this was one of them. This Zelda? Is, yeah. But it came with the Manuel. Manuel! <laughs> and it's the hologram one, of course. Yeah, Zelda Majora's Mask. We didn't even say which Zelda it was. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. It's Majora's Mask. And it's a really dark uh, Zelda game. It's very... The moon in that game is like everyone's like worst nightmare. It's a very good game. I didn't even... I Tell the truth, I haven't even played this one. I can't believe I haven't played this game. You know what's funny? For me, I did play that one more than I played Ocarina of Time, so... That's the one I did play. <laughs> like, crazy. Yeah, this was after Ocarina, and a lot of people didn't give it as much love as Ocarina because it was compared to such a great game like Ocarina. But it is still a great game. I know a lot of people will very much agree it's a beautiful Zelda game. Hard. I heard it's hard. It is hard. So, I can't wait. And then, actually, I just saw this one in Metal Jesus. It's, uh... Hey, more Metal Jesus! <laughs> Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. It pretty much just has, uh, what is it, Metal Gear 1, the PlayStation 1, not the NES, and then the Sons of Anarchy, I believe. Is Sweet. that the one? The Liberty? Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty. Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> My yeah. bad. That'd be so bad. <laughs> wow. Too much Netflix. Yeah, too much Netflix right here. <laughs> and then for my last thing, I actually did this on my uh, Instagram. I told you guys I didn't get it. I didn't, but I went back the next day. This is a big deal, too. I went back the next day and talked to the manager. I'm like, hey, so uh, when's that thing going to get sold? He's like, which thing? He showed. I showed him the mirror. And I could knock it down 50%. I'm like, yes. Yeah, so what happened is uh, we've got three Miracle Pianos, and you guys hate us for that. This is now our fourth together. Combined, I have two, he has two. Aaron, what should we do with the rest of these Miracle Pianos? Uh, just throw them over here with the rest of them. It has the conversion kit, it has the pedals, it has, I think it has the plugs, it has the um, the booklets to show you how to play songs. But it so, doesn't have the cords to plug it in the, oh, it doesn't have the plug-in cord. But hey, <laughs> dude, look at this. This is ridiculous. People were freaking out like, are you kidding me? You guys are finding another Miracle Piano, so. And at the same place, I got it at a Goodwill again. <laughs> yeah, so, Goodwill, come on. <laughs> Let's stop bashing on Goodwill, people. We all hate it sometimes, but the majority of the time we end up up. Yeah. Hey, I think that's all we got, Ricky. Hey. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all that. Ricky has an Instagram now. Chris has an Instagram at Ricky Retro Liberty, at Chris Retro Liberty. Ours is at Retro Liberty. Woo. Hey, check us out, like I said, on uh, GameStraighty1.com. I haven't said that in a while. GameStraighty1.com. Awesome guy. We've been hanging out with him yeah. very much lately. And he is a, really becoming a very close friend of ours. So Yeah, Gamester's cool. Yeah, John. we love you, John. And we're Retro Liberty. Oh, ha, ha. Don't forget to like the video. The last like. videos at, like, freaking, what, almost 900 likes? That's insane. That's insanity. If we ever get to 1,000 likes, I'm going to freak out. Literally, I'll, I'll probably freak out. So, thank you guys so much. <laughs> Honestly, uh, the channel is growing awesome. And to us, it's just more more friends in the community and a bigger bond and um, thank you guys for supporting my video with uh, my baby in it too when I showed my new baby so she's my wife Aaron got all your congrats guys yeah thank you guys Woo! so and uh, <laughs> that's it uh, anything else uh, I'll let you slap me go ahead you know you slap me mine was way harder I feel bad adios guys let's do gunshots on the way out ready one two <laughs>
So, eat them. 25 years old, dumb. Um, let's do it. Ready? Okay, ready? Three, three. One, two, two three. three. Oh! Look at what broke my tooth! <laughs> How's the taste? The taste is alright! Oh my gosh, mine's crumbling. Dude, mine doesn't, doesn't even come anymore. <laughs> Are you swallowing? <laughs> no, it's automatically going in. It's like, it's not even chewing. It's powder. It's powder. And mine's gone. That's pretty gross at the end. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, ah, it's, hard, you know. it's gone. I thought we were just gonna chew bubble gum. I kind of like it. And <laughs> beat it. Ricky likes it. We're, I thought we were just chewing gum and like spit it out, but it's gone. It's we're gonna it's go in we're, my system. We're gonna go back tomorrow. There's gonna be no more. Ricky's gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea days are here. What card did you guys get? Oh gosh. Dude, I got splinter. Oh, that's bad. The aftertaste is terrible. Oh.